Hey guys, Darth Glorik here, back with part, I would say part one, but I suspect it'll be the full playthrough, but we'll see. Part one of my brand new playthrough. We are playing through Sakura Nova. So I know there's no writing on the screen, but trust me, that's what we're playing. <laughs> so it's another Sakura game. So I've done two of these, I believe, um, before. Um, this one looks to be on the shorter side by quite a bit. Um, how long to beat quoted this game in about two hours, and, uh... And so, and it said like main plus sides is like two, is like three and a half or something. Um, usually, I'm kind of in between both of those, so I kind of suspect we'll just do this all in one. Um, I did install an adult patch to this game, so that's mostly for me, because for you guys, it's not going to change a whole lot, I imagine, because I'll just probably cut away for anything that's really good. So for you guys, it doesn't mean it, for, that doesn't mean a whole lot, but for me, <laughs> it makes it much more interesting. So. Anyway, um, it's been a while since we did a soccer game. They're kind of dumb, etchy, fluffy fun, so... So let's get to it. Shall we? Um, it's just a bit farther, I think. So, f f by the way, for the record, I have no idea what this one's about. <laughs> so, uh, I have a lot of soccer games. I have no idea what this one's about. Um, I... It kind of looks futuristic, based upon what I'm looking at, so maybe it's a little futuristic? I, I don't know. Anyway, so I don't know what this one's about. I chose one at random. Um, some soccer games have sequels, like Sakura Gamer, I think, has several, and Sakura Succubus has, has like, five or six or something. So some of them have sequels, some of them don't. Um, I don't, if there's a sequel to this one, I don't own it, if there is. I, um, I don't know if it does or not, so, uh, but I wouldn't worry about it. Um, I don't own a sequel either way, so either way it's a moot point, because we're doing this one and I, I don't have a sequel, even if there is one. Um... The other thing I meant to mention is there is multiple endings to this game. We're going to be getting the harem ending, which is obviously going to be the best ending. I'm just going to be lazy this time, and I'm going to use a guide. So I have a guide open that I'm going to alt-tab to whenever there's a dialogue choice, and we're going to go for the best ending, so that's the plan. Anyway, why am I using a different changing room starting today anyway? It doesn't really matter where we change, does it? Well, complaining about it won't get me anywhere. Complaining about it won't get me anywhere, though. The commander's orders are, the commander's orders are absolute. That's how it works for a night. Ah, here we are. I'm gonna change quickly and head over to the instructor. Well, there you go. I can show this. No problem. Huh? Um, this is changing room 305, right? Oh, is it voice acted? Oh shit, it's voice acted. I can't believe it. Well, that's cool. Well, like, I don't know. I really know what I should do though, because I'm like, I, I gotta read it, because like, it's not English voice acted. Uh, can I mute the voice? Yeah, can I like mute the voice volume? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to mute mute the voice volume because I need I need to voice act it. I, I I need to read it, and it's voice acted, which doesn't bother me at all. But um, obviously, I don't want to be talking over a voice, so I guess that's what we'll do. Yes, that's correct. No, no, whether it's correct or not is not the problem here. How dare you try to peek so brazenly, you molester? <laughs> Holy shit, that's not- I don't know who this is. I'm assuming we're in the point of view of a guy, I'm assuming. Uh, no, you're wrong, I'm not a molester. Okay, so I'm assuming M uh, Mikage is the guy that we are, I'm assuming. Um, anyway. Oh, shit, okay, well, uh, to, to the guide. Okay, well, <laughs> supposedly this is the dialogue choice, so start staring unintentionally. Then why are you staring at our body so intently? We're not- you're not convincing anyone here. Come to think of it, that's true. If you're trying to peek so openly, you shouldn't have any complaints about being cut down, right? Wait, let me explain. Here, wait, hey, why are you drawing your sword? Listen to me. Give your excuses in the afterlife. You're planning to kill me? I'm not a molester, I'm innocent. You've got guts trying to talk your way out of this, even in this situation. You're still insisting you're innocent. I suppose you will at least listen to what you have to say. What? Kaguya? Uh, we can still cut him down after listening to this to his explanation if we need to, right? You're not wrong there, but now if you say you're innocent, give me an explanation. I can accept. Okay, okay, I get it. Uh, so can you please put away your swords? I can explain this calmly if you keep through. I can't explain this calmly if you keep threatening me like that. But I'm telling you now, if you try to run, I'll kill you. I won't run. Do I look like the kind of man who could run away from a situation with the disgrace of being labeled a molester still with me? Hmm, well, you are pretty handsome, but your looks are irrelevant. There are good-looking molesters out there, too. If you're- what is that- what is that- what is that dialogue? What? <laughs> anyway, but if you're going to say all of that, I'll at least listen to what you have to say. So hurry up and start explaining. I was going- I was going to whether you asked or not. The reason why things turned out this way is... 
Oh, flashback. She's cute. I was wondering why you didn't show up on time. To think it was because you got mixed up in some stupid argument. With all due respect, instructor, my reputation is on the line here. It's not stupid. Is what he's saying true? Oh, she's cute. Oh, so oh, that, that was the girl. I just didn't recognize her in armor. <laughs> More or less. So don't blame Makage for this. I see very well. Wait, wait, why are you all acting like everything's settled with just this? And there's the third girl. Uh, isn't there still one vital problem here? No, no, come on, don't give me that blank stare. Do you still have a problem with something? Yes? Huh? Huh? What? Am I the only one who thinks this is strange? Am I just- am I just weird? What is it that you find so strange? Men and women should not be used in the same changing room. She's like, what? <laughs> She's looking at me blankly again. Oh, so that's what you were worked up about. I was wondering what it was. In that case, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What do you mean by that? The three of you are going to be in the same team starting today. You'll be entrusting your lives to each other, so you're practically- you're already practically family. There's no one out there stupid enough to be embarrassed about being naked by their own- in front of their own fam- by their own family, right? F okay. I could- I'll- let me throw it out there. I would be. <laughs> let me just throw this out there that, uh, I would be incredibly uncomfortable with being naked in front of my family, and I think most anybody would. Uh, most people, I would say not most anybody. Maybe I would say the majority of the population probably probably would be like, yeah, I would prefer not to. Anyway. True. No, no, even family get embarrassed when they see each other naked. Now there you go, see? Is that all? In that case, there should be no problem. She's just completely ignored me. It's pointless. She won't listen to me no matter what I say. Anyway, there's something else that caught my attention. What is it? Earlier, you said the three of us would be in a team, right? What of it? Oh yeah, what's that all about? It's been three years since you enrolled in the first Royal Knights Academy. You've learned all sorts of things necessary for becoming a knight. For your last year here, you'll be learning more practical skills. I'm sure you already know, but all knights work in teams. Uh, that's what allows us to increase our mission success rate and keep casualties to a minimum. Knights are a symbol of justice that protect the Noah Kingdom. We are the shield and spear of the citizens. Decreasing the risk we have to take is the same as protecting the citizens and their livelihood. Which is why, no matter how accomplished you may be as a knight, you're not allowed to work alone. And while you lot may be no more than apprentices right now, after you graduate, you'll be knights under the direct command of the king himself. You need to get used to working in teams before then. The answer is you- that answers the question. Understand? Understood. I have no complaints. I've got a lot of complaints, but you're going to ignore them anyway, so I guess for now this is okay. I have no complaints either. Let me say it again. You three are a team now, a family, connected by bonds, stronger than blood. Your life is for your your life is for your comrades now. Work hard to support each other and never be negligent in your training. Though this is your first time meeting each other. Asking you to entrust your lives to each other right off the bat is probably asking for too much. So start completing missions together and deepen your bonds. Oh, you two don't know each other? We've met each other for the first time in the changing room. So what we, so what are we doing today? Just instructions? Don't be stupid, of course I have a mission for you three. So today's mission is... I will now announce your first mission as a team. The mission you will bark today is... I'm assuming it's something stupid. <laughs> I didn't know there was something like this underneath the school. Me neither. Oh, for a second I thought she was holding a broom. I'm like, I knew it. <laughs> but that that's not a broom. Uh, me neither. To think there was a dungeon beneath the school we're always studying in. I'm amazed at how large it is. Even though we had tons of mock battles against other humans, this will be the first time fighting monsters. Even if they are monsters, today's, today's targets are just slimes, right? Ha, this will be a cinch. Don't look down on slimes. They're pretty difficult to handle in their own way. I didn't know you were a worry wart, Kaguya. Caution and cowardice are not the same. I agree with Kaguya. Unlike the people we fought up until now, monsters won't show us any mercy. And <laughs> why with a lot of people wouldn't show you any mercy. They'll kill us without hesitation. We probably won't be able to fight as well as we usually do when faced with a monster's pure enmity. Arrogance leads to death. Okay, okay, I get it already. I was wrong, okay. I won't let my guard down against him. Is that good enough for you? That's fine. With that said, I'll, shall we pass through the gate and enter the dungeon? Yeah, we'll fi let's finish this so fast, even the instructor's impressed. I like your spirit. Alright, let's go. Man, what's this? When I heard we were going to the dungeon, I expected some gloomy, dark, dank cavern. Dank cavern? <laughs> anyway, sorry I'm stupid. Uh, but it's nothing like that at all. Well, this is a practice dungeon to help us train. By the way, I just noticed something really important. Do you sense an enemy? Not that. We still haven't introduced ourselves, have we? Now that you mention it, we haven't. We're supposed to be comrades who would trust our lives to each other. Don't you think not knowing each other's names is kind of a problem? So I'm thinking we should take the time until, enemy, um, until enemies show up to introduce ourselves. 
I don't mind, but make sure you stay stay aware of your surroundings, okay? I know, I know. I'm put out an antenna to detect any enemies that will come close. In that case, shall I start? Be my guest. Kaguya Setsuna. Setsuna. Yeah, there you go. Kaguya Setsuna. Nailed it. As you can see, my weapon of choice is a one-handed sword. That is all. Uh, that's it? That's all you're going to say? Shouldn't you talk about your hobbies, your special skills, or your favorite foods or something? I don't really have any hobbies or special skills. No favorite food either. Well, I guess people like you exist too. Hmm, <laughs> guess I'll go next. I'm Arisa Moegihara, maybe? My hobby is cooking and my special talent is that I have a very flexible body. My favorite food is probably some kind of crepe, I guess? I, I, I'm not even gonna begin to, to pronounce that. Despite how I look, I'm actually the oldest of six siblings, so I'm pretty good at taking care of people. Uh, I probably don't need to tell you my weapon, but as you can see, it's a spear. Six siblings? Sounds like a lively family. It's more live, It's more noisy than lively, honestly. Every day's a battle. I'm always running around taking care of something or the other. For how annoying you say it is, you sound pretty happy. You must get along well with your siblings. Yeah, we're, pl we're pretty close, I guess. I don't have any siblings, so I'm kind of jealous. Alright, you're up next. Alright then, um, I'm Mikage Shinzaki. Shinzaki? Could you be Zero Shinzaki's son? Your dad's Zero? I figured this would happen. Yes, Zero's my dad. Zero for Mega Man X fame? I can't believe it. Amazing, that's so amazing, he's really your dad? You're the son of the strongest knight in the country? That's so awesome. I've heard the son of Zero was in the academy, but to think it'd be you. Wait, wait, it's not that big of a deal, really. It's true, my dad's an amazing knight, but that's got nothing to do with me. I'm an apprentice knight, just like you two. Being called amazing just for being the knight of the sons of the kingdom's strongest knight feels wrong somehow. That's true, I apologize. I suppose that that must be, uh, that must have been a bit rude of me. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I guess that must have made you feel awkward, huh? It's fine, as long as you guys understand. Also, just just to make sure there aren't any misunderstandings down the line, I'll just say this now. It's true, my dad's a truly amazing knight, and I respect him a great deal. But that's precisely why I'm aiming to surpass him one day. Sorry for making things awkward. That's a splendid goal, but it won't be easy to surpass someone like Zero. Every time I see you, I see father, he's always bragging about how awesome he is. Uh, you mean your father brags about my dad? He's the uh, uh, adjutant for the Zero unit. Seriously? Man, that's unfortunate to be stuck as the adjutant for someone as accomplished as my dad. Must be pretty tough. Didn't I say, didn't I just say he's proud of it? He's always going on about how there's no knight as amazing as Zero. That, that's kind of, wait, where did Arissa go? She's not here? She was following behind us just a moment ago. Yeah, That's Arissa's voice. It came from over there, let's hurry. Yeah, what happened? Mikage, Kaguya! I was about to say, as if we all did it a thousand percent, knew what was gonna happen. <laughs> a thousand percent. Looks like the hunter became the hunted. That is an impressive way to get captured. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, could you please save me? This sticky stuff is disgusting. Of course, we'll save you as fast as we can. Hmm, do you think I have to censor any of that? I'm just, I'm just, uh, kind of focusing and, uh... No? No, I don't think so. Not quite yet. What's going on? Arissa's clothes are starting to melt? <laughs> who would have thought? <laughs> what a plot twist. Slime slowly dissolve their captured prey with their digestive fluids. Then they absorb them. Ah, hurry, hurry up and save me or my fair skin will get scarred. Oh, to the guide. Okay, we gotta say, it's precisely times like this where you've got to be calm. Uh, so the screen flickers when I alt tab. Um, you might see flickers of black when I alt tab. I'm, for the most part, I'm gonna cut away from the guide is my idea. So I'm giving myself pauses in the recording to cut away for the guide. Um, with the, I, with the purpose of trying to have, prevent you guys from seeing the guide. Because I think it makes it a better story for you. If you don't know what choices that I'm gonna make. I don't know, it's, it's a little thing, but it's just something I'm doing, so. Um, but there, I, but I might cut in soon enough that you see black for a second. That's what that is. Anyway, it's, preci it's precisely times like this where you need to be calm. I, also, I honestly want to jump in to save her, but it's times like this that I need to be calm. Just slashing randomly at the slime won't do any good. It can revive itself in an instant. The only way to destroy it is to break at the core inside it. I draw my two beloved katanas. Oh wow, I'm a dual katana user. What a weeb, good for me. Take my stance and steady my breathing. You dual wield? Let's go! I get myself fired up and charge towards the slime. The scenery flowing past, the acceleration of my body, I take it all in with my heightened senses. So fast. 
And he goes this epic war cry, Toria! And slices down on it, I imagine. It takes only a moment. I thrust towards the red sphere floating within the translucent slime. The slime dies soundlessly a moment later. You okay? Does it hurt anywhere? My body's just fine, but I think my heart that t it's my heart that took damage. Thanks for worrying about me. Oh, this was supposed to be our first mission as a team, but all I did was hold you guys back. That was so pathetic. I wish I could go crawl in a hole and die. If you're worried how you didn't do anything, I'm in the same. I'm the same in that regard. Since I ended up letting Makage handle everything. I said all that about not letting my guard down, but I got caught so easily. In that sense, I did a lot worse than you, Kaguya. That was so bad, I think I'm gonna cry. The blame doesn't just lie with you, Orisa. We all messed up. It's fine, you don't have to be nice to me. I know I messed up. I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it just to be nice, I really think so. But you two didn't do anything wrong, did you? We have to be aware of our surroundings at all times. I thought I, thought I knew that. But in reality, I let my guard down too. Being so engrossed in conversation that you didn't notice the slime was your fault, Orisa. But not immediately noticing that you've been kidnapped was ours. There's no excuse for a failure like that. Protect yourself and protect your comrades. That's supposed to be the Knight's Creed. But I let you f I let you fall into a dangerous situation, Orisa. I'm truly sorry. No, no, you don't have to apologize. You don't have to bow your head uh, bow your head to me. This time was a complete failure. Depending on how you look at it, though, this might be a stroke of good luck. What do you mean by that? Since we suffered this time. We won't make the same mistake again with our lives may really be in danger. We'll, we'll always keep the memory of this failure in the back of our minds. If you think about this as a warning to be more careful next time, and not just a simple failure, it's not so bad. It could have been a lot worse. That's a pretty optimistic way of looking at it, Kaguya. I don't know about that. But you do have a point there, Kaguya. In order not to let this failure simply remain a failure, we should learn from it and be more focused from now on. Alright, I'm definitely going to nab some monsters next time. That's the spirit. I look forward to working with you both. Me too. Let's make a great team, of course. In that case, you wanted to have an after party to deepen our bonds right now? I don't mind. Would right now be inconvenient for you, Mikage? Do you have plans already? Uh, that's not it, but well, whatever. I'll come too. Awesome. Since that's decided, let's go. I'll go to our house, Mikage. Huh? We're not. We're doing this at my place? I mean, maybe she said your house. Anyway, my little brothers are all home. It'll be hard to relax there. Honestly, I'll be fine with Kage's place too, but I just feel like finding out about what your house is like, Mikage. Well, I guess it's fine. All right, then let's go. All right, later at my house. I'm home. Well, not that there's anyone here to answer. Oh, looks like you're back, my beloved son. Oh my god, that's that's my dad? <laughs> he looks like he's like 20, 23. <laughs> Why does he look like a baby? Uh, why are you here? Is there something wrong with me being in my own home? Yes, there is. You're always out working. You barely even, you barely come home once every six months. Well, it's been six months since the last time I was here, hasn't it? Maybe I should deepen his voice like he's like a more mature than you'd think. <laughs> uh, geez, if you were coming back, you could have at least let me know. I wanted to surprise you. Aren't you happy? Not one bit. Sheesh, you just can't be honest with yourself, huh? It's okay if you want to give your beloved papa a hug. Your face is funny enough. You don't need to try and make jokes to get laughs. Anyway, who are those two cute ladies behind you? Could they be your girlfriends? You're pretty good getting two at once. This too is a result of my training. Ha <laughs> ha! No, they're not. They're my new comrades. We've started doing team missions at the academy now. Well, I figured as much. There's no way someone like you could bag two pretty girls like them. Sorry, I didn't notice right away. This old man. I'm Arisa Moe Moegahara. Uh, my god, it's really Zero in the flesh? I'm so moved. Can I shake your hand? Of course, but being asked to shake hands by a pretty girl like you, if anything, I'm the one who should be thankful. Bro, <laughs> chill the fuck out, okay? <laughs> Back off, you're, making, you're gonna make it weird, like, and I have to work with these two. No, you know, don't make it weird. Anyway, perverted old man. Uh, your hand's so big, so this is the hand of the kingdom's strongest knight. How can I brag about this to- now I can brag about this to my brothers? Ah, uh, it's just an old man's hand. Nothing to brag about, really. That's not true. I'll never forget this moment for the rest of my life. You're making me blush. And who is the other pretty lady over there? A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Kaguya Setsuna. Wait, Setsuna? Correct me if I'm wrong, but is your dad's name Jin? Yes, Jin Setsuna is my father. Thank you for looking after my father. Oh, I knew it! For an angry old man like him to have a daughter as beautiful as you, it must have been some kind of miracle. Haha. <laughs> uh, it is an honor to meet you, Zero. I keep telling you guys, it's not that big a deal, really. There's no need to be so respectful to an ordinary old man like me. Old man, he looks like he's, what, like, 23, dude. He's the, like, he's so young. 
What do you mean? Anyway, uh, that's right, it's a waste to show him any respect. No, no, there's no way we can act casual. You're the man I look up to. The, my goal is to be a knight like you one day. A knight like me, huh? So you want to be a knight who ignores orders all the time and just does whatever they want? I already knew you really are good for nothing. Not that. I just want to be a strong knight like you, Zero. I mean, you're amazing. You can't use magic, and yet you're still the strongest in the kingdom. In the long history of the kingdom, the title of the strongest in every era always belonged to the captains of the Holy Knight Order, who all excelled in both magic and swordsmanship. And yet, you managed to equal their feats with the strength of your sword alone. It's no wonder you're idolized by the, by the citizens. Please, don't praise me so much. You're making me blush. I use magic too if I could, but unfortunately I wasn't born with the talent to use it. So, I just had no choice but to polish my sword skills instead. That's a surprise. I didn't know you wanted to use magic, Dad. Or maybe he didn't say it like that. Like, that's a surprise. Uh, that's a surprise. I didn't know you wanted to use magic, Dad. That, 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 that probably makes more sense. Of course I would. The magic is extremely strong and useful on top of that. If I was able to use magic, I'd have so many more options in battle. There's just... Be, there, there'd be so much more that I could do. It's unfair how if you're not born with the talent, you'll never be able to use magic no matter how strong you train. It's not fair if some people get an unfair advantage right from birth. Just silent. Is, is something wrong, Kaguya? No, it's nothing. So, did you guys come here to study or what? We thought we'd have an after party after our first mission to deepen our bonds. An after party, huh? Sounds nice. Having a frank conversation with those you'll be trusting your life to at least once is a good idea. In that case, I'll stop getting in your guys' way and go back to my room. You youngins have fun now. <laughs> Goodbye, super young dad who pretends he's old. <laughs> what a weird gimmick he has. Uh, you are welcome to join us if you wish. Yeah, I agree. We won't get many chances to see you anyway. I want to hear all of your stories. I'm grave over the offer, but what do you think, son? If I said no here, they'd hate me forever. I won't say I'm willing, but I guess it can't be helped. Then it's decided. To Yay! Today's the best day of my life. You're just exaggerating. Yes, yeah, just me, my co-workers, and my dad. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Because of my mistake, Arissa was put in danger. I thought I could do better, but I screwed up on my very first mission. I'll definitely succeed next time. Even if I have to give my life, I'll protect my comrades. Why the long face? Uh, don't just barge into my room, you rotten old man. How many times do I have to tell you to knock? Man, there's... Man, that's too much of a pain. I don't wanna... Or were you doing something you don't want other people seeing? <laughs> I see, I see. You are at that age after all. I'm sure there's times you get horny too. <laughs> Stop spouting nonsense. If you don't have any business with me, could you please just leave? Oh, you're making me sad. I finally come back after half a year and you're acting like I'm being a bother. I just wanted to have some father-son bonding time. Well, I don't. Papa's hurt. Will you stop with the Papa already? Anyway, it looks like you got yourself some good comrades. Those two girls are pretty good. You think so? Now all that's left is to see whether or not you can build a relationship of trust with them. That isn't, this isn't something that you can rush. If you try and rush your relationship with him, it'll just end up in flames. Trust is something you slowly build, or build up slowly over time. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Good luck and work hard. Yep, I got it. I don't know why I'm such a prick to my dad. <laughs> he seems like a cool dude. He's a little awkward, but whatever. And my, and that concludes my report. Oh god, I'm out of voices. <laughs> I like, okay, so... I'm kind of new to this whole reading a visual novel thing. I've done visual novels on the channel, some very long ones. But the thing is, I can't do, I can't do, like, as a, I can jokingly do voices. I can parrot voices really well if I'm actively listening to what they're sounding like. Like, I can do, like, a, like a half-decent Australian accent impression if I'm, like, listening to, an, like, like, Steve Irwin. If I'm listening to Steve Irwin speak, I can replicate how he's speaking it very well. Like, I can parrot it. But, like, if, unless I'm listening to it, most the accents I can't do. Like, I can't do accents. So the problem is, when I'm reading a visual novel, I'm attempting to give a slight cadence change to different characters to help you differentiate who's who. And so, like, for the main dude, I just speak like myself because that because that makes it obvious the dad I gave him a deep voice for her I'm trying to do like a softer mature esque vibe that she sounds more chill and I'm trying to make her more bubbly ish like she's a, li a little higher pitch a, a little bit but I don't have a third I don't have a third one I don't know what to do for her you know 
So I might just have to do one of their voices and you'll just have to realize I'm talking about her. Just look at who's on screen, okay? <laughs> I, I guess. I, I don't know what else to do. Because the only other one I could do would be this, like, ridiculously, like, ridiculously stupid high-pitched one. Like, very well. Let me begin by congratulating you on completing today's mission. But that's stupid. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. I'm not doing that for any one of them. That would completely ruin the moment. So I don't know what to do about Reika. I don't have... I don't have another voice, so... I don't have another one I can do that's female, so... I, I, so that's it, I guess. <laughs> Very well, let me begin by congratulating you on completing today's mission. You're quite skilled. You were able to complete it as twice as fast as I anticipated. Thank you very much. It's too soon to celebrate. It's true you're skilled, but the results themselves, they're unacceptable. Do you understand why you three were assigned to this mission? No, I doubt you do. If you had, you wouldn't have given me these results. You had to eliminate the target all on your own? Or who told you to eliminate the target all on your own? My orders were to take it down as a team, but it seems you insisted on acting like a hero. But that wasn't my intention. Well, whatever. Just don't make me repeat myself. That's all. You're dismissed. Looks like you got scolded. Sorry for going off on my own. No, it's it's also our fault for not being able to keep up with your movements. Yeah, yeah, we're a team. We all share the responsibility. But you know, and I thought this back when you killed the slime too, you're really strong, Mikage. You're way stronger than a knight apprentice. It's likely that there's no one at this, at this academy as skilled in swordsmanship as you, Mikage. Not even the instructors. You're just exaggerating now. I'm simply stating the facts. Man, we got ourselves one heck of a strong teammate. I have to work even harder so I don't slow you down. I too must be more diligent in my training. So then, how, uh, how about we do some special training? I'd be more than happy to. I'd like to be able to say the same. Unfortunately, however, I have a prior engagement. I see, well, I did bring this up just now. So then, it'll just be us two today? Seems like it. Well, I'll go on ahead then, see you two tomorrow. See ya. All right, should we get our, should we begin our training then? Okay, come at me anytime. Take that. Rah! Meanwhile, uh, or uh, you know, grunts of effort. Ha! Ho! <laughs> uh, no matter what I do, I can't get past your guard. I can't take this anymore. Hey, just because you Whoa, that's dangerous. No, it's not. You're not even seriously trying to hit me here. I mean, I knew this already, but for there to be a this huge a gap in our skill level, I thought I wasn't half bad, but now my confidence is in tatters. I don't think the difference in our ability is that large, though. How? All I'm hearing is sarcasm. No, really, you have a good stance, and you ex uh, execute your techniques well. You just dodged my attack again while saying that. Fine, I'll, I'll get at least get one hit on you, no matter what it takes. ta ya just all. <laughs> Your technique, it just keeps improving. You really are amazing. It's not over yet. Arissa rains down a barrage of blows so fast I can barely catch, catch a breath. I use my sword to parry each and every one of them. The impact I feel from each successive strike keeps on getting heavier and heavier. She's making excellent use of the spear's long reach by adding the power of centrifugal force to each of her strikes. Man, you really don't hold back, do you? If I took any one of those strikes head on, I'd be stuck in the hospital for a while. Not like I'd be able to hit you anyway. And if I can't even get you to be serious, then how is this in any way special training? I guess that's true. There's no point unless I get serious too. So then, how long are you going plan how long are you planning to sit there defending? You can't win a fight just by blocking. Fine then, now it's my turn. I release the tension in my upper body, focus my strength into my dominant foot and kick off the ground. Since I'd focus all of my energies on one point, I leap forward with ferocious speed. Finally. And he grunts of effort. Ah, oh, he's fast. Arissa blocks each of my, my slashes with her spear, but it's no use. The, the moment you let me inside your range, it's all over for you. The long reach of a spear can't keep up with a sword's speed in close quarters. Take this! I slash at full strength at the spear. So heavy! Ugh! Arissa's face twists in pain, and the arm holding the spear trembles as it takes my blow, carrying my entire weight behind it. I push once more, just to claim my victory. Ugh, no more! I can't hold on any, mo any longer. While grinding her teeth in anger, Arissa sinks to her knees, and in the next instant... Kya! Unable to block my attack, she starts to fall backwards. Er, Kya! As she falls, I guess, sorry. I was, I, I assumed she was gonna go in for a cheeky attack, but she was falling over. Flustered, I reflexively grab her arm. God, what could possibly be happening here? <laughs> reflexively grab her arm to try and stop her from falling, just having, but having just thrown all of my, I'm assuming it's, or my all, okay, I get it. Having just thrown my all into that last attack, my balance is off too. Inevitably, I get tangled up with Arissa and we both find ourselves falling to the ground. Wow, <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> Alright, so I might be cutting away, you never know. 
Ah! I land properly to break the fall, but even a good a good fall hurts a little. My face twists somewhat from the numbing pain of impacting with the ground. Ow! Oh. And more importantly, are you okay, Ar Arissa? Oh, hey, I think we're still good. I, I don't think I have to cut this. It's really gonna suck if that adult patch didn't work, but we'll see. Ow! I'm alright, but I don't think I can stand up just yet. Wait, what do you think you're doing? Arissa's face turns bright red as she glares at me. I don't understand what she's saying when trying to say it first, and then my brain finally registers the spreading feeling of something soft in my hands. It's not on purpose, it was just an accident. You could, could you please hurry up and move your hands? Well, they've gone numb from the fall, so no, I'm serious, really. It's not because I want to keep groping you or anything, I swear. Sure, I'm serious. Come on, we're comrades, right? Please believe me. You're really not secretly enjoying this or thinking anything lucky at all? Well, oh, hang on, to the guide. Okay, uh, honestly, I am a little happy. Honestly, I am a little happy, but I can't help it. I mean, I'm a guy after all. Yeah, yeah, it's better to be honest. Huh, you're okay with it? I'd have hated it more if you gave me some bullshit lie. And if you said you don't feel anything at all, I'd start worrying, worrying that I have no charm as a woman. <laughs> There's no way that's true. You really, you really mean it? Yeah, I think you're pretty cute and, attra and attractive. Really? <laughs> cute little giggle. Being told that makes me kinda happy. Do you think I'm weird since being groped makes me happy? Ah oh, man, my clothes got ruined again. My sword ripped right through them back when we fell, but somehow <laughs> perfectly sliced just the clothes and no part of you, because that would ruin the moment, obviously. I'm glad you didn't get hurt though. Yeah, if you don't left a scar, I'd have maybe made you, made you take responsibility for it. <laughs> All right, uh, the numbness is starting to fade. You really okay with it ending like this? What do you mean? I'm asking if you're satisfied with just rubbing my boobs. And I'm feeling a little funny right now. Could it be that you... Yeah, hey, let's have sex. Okay, uh... <clears throat> we're back. That was sudden. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't ready for all that. That was... I realized, okay, good news. The adult patch is working. Um, <laughs> also, I just turned up the... I, just for science. Just... I just for science, I, I I turned up the voice and uh, it served its purpose, and I turned back down. <laughs> so it's uh, muted that again. Wow, that was sudden, like <laughs> so sudden. I, I wasn't even ready. I don't even know how fast I'm gonna have to cut that. Good lord! Suddenly she's just like uh, suddenly. <laughs> that was so sudden. I wasn't ready. Okay. Also, can I just say? Okay, so voice acting is just as top notch as any anime you might watch or whatever else. Um, what I can say that's really funny, and I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. I'm still not over it. Okay, so certain words are censored, like, but it's like a soft censor. So anytime that she would say "dick" or whatever, it would like half censor it. It's like they sort of thought about it. It's like a soft censor. It's kind of weird. You hear a little blip, a little beep. You know, l l like an old school, you know, like a swearing censor. You know. And, but not like super loud, like, and not even, it doesn't even cut out the whole word. It's like half of the last half of the word. It's so funny, <laughs> okay? So, I, and again, I don't know what the point is, because if you're already going to record it, it's not illegal, so I just, it's obviously, it's very normal for, like, Japanese voice acting and stuff, like, very normal. You hear that all the time, where they'll censor certain words that are, like, not even swear words. I just, I, I don't know. It's, I mean, so, some of them are, I guess, but I don't know. It's just, it's funny, okay? It's, and I couldn't stop laughing, because suddenly the voice actress would just be going and going, and then suddenly it would just be like, beep! <laughs> but it's like a soft beep, and you still hear, the, you, you still heard the word! Because, <laughs> like, what's the point? And I couldn't stop laughing. It was so funny. Anyway, so every time I'd hear that stupid little beep in the middle of the sentence, it was so funny. Oh my god. Anyway, so I'm fine. It was just really funny. So, very sudden. I don't know how I'm going to edit that out. I mean, I'll just... I don't know how tight I'm going to have to edit it. Um, but it'll be fine and edited. But, yeah, so uh, they got freaky real freaking quick. And uh, it was great for both of them. So, you know, in case you're worried about that, I guess. So now things are weird. What are you spacing out for? No, well, I was just thinking we really did it, didn't we? Are you regretting it? No, no. If I was going to regret it, I wouldn't have done it in the first place. And besides, how could I ever regret something that felt so good? Did it really feel that good? Better than I ever expected. Looks like you're a genius at sex as well as swords. I think I'm average in both, though, personally. If that's average, then the rest of the world is just too amazing for me. At the very least, that's the best I've ever felt in my whole life. Really? Now that I know something this amazing exists out there, there's no way I can satisfy myself with just masturbating anymore. 
Wow, just tell me everything, why don't you? You masturbate? Obviously, girls get horny too, you know. It's not really all that strange, is it? No, it's not, not really, but do all girls really masturbate? Well, I wouldn't say all of us do, but the ones that just don't, just don't. But you do, Arissa. Yep, but it's really hard. What do you mean it's really hard? Well, you see, I share a room with my little sister. Oh god, that, yikes. But, uh, and every other place in the house always has someone in it. So it's really hard to find time to do it. So I have to wait till my sister's fast asleep. Oh, that's, that is, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not, that's not okay. Then I crawl into my futon and bite the edge of it when I masturbate so my voice doesn't leak out. I was able to be as loud as I wanted today. It was really refreshing. Holding it in is really bad for you. So what did you think about all this, Mikage? Did it really feel good having sex with me? Would I? Why would I lie to you? It felt so good I thought my legs were going to give out. Thank God. I'd, just, I'd want to kill myself if I asked you to have sex with me and then you told me it wasn't that great. Then then there's no problem at all and you don't and you don't need to kill yourself. That's great. I want, still want to live a long life after all. Since I get to live longer, I'll get to have much more amazing sex with you again, right, Makage? Yeah, if anything, I'll be asking- I'll probably be asking you for it. Awesome, then I'll be looking forward to next time. God, this is so, so fucking weird. <laughs> what is- what's happened to my life? Is this the spiral that- uh, that happens to us all? Oh my god. Anyway, I'm just- my phone is exploding and I just keep looking over and seeing vibrations and lighting up and- Oh my god. Anyway, alright, in, in that case, shall we start heading back? Huh? It's already this late? I'm gonna get back and get a bunch of stuff ready. I've gotta get back. Sorry to, uh, for keeping you here so long. Don't worry about it. I'm glad I got to talk with you, Mikage. Alright, see you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, alright, have a good one. <laughs> it's like, how are you supposed to pretend that everything's normal after this? We just became teammates, and now we're already fucking. Like, like, damn. <laughs> like, and how, like, oh god. And be so, uh, the other, the, the other girl, whose name I don't even remember, is, uh... Like, so she, I think she was the one that said that they had just met, like, in the changing room right then. Like, so they're not friends, you know? Like, maybe they'll become friends, but they're not, like, friends friends, so it's like, maybe they won't talk about it? Like, are we just talking about it to other people? Probably not, right? That's, like, that, that that's private, you know? Like, me and her fool around, but, like, are we going steady? Like, like but, like, that's so weird Like in a team dynamic. I have to work with these people. Like, that's so weird. <laughs> Well, it's not gonna be okay. It's just it's not gonna be okay. Well, actually, I mean in this game It probably will be a fine, but it's but it's not okay <laughs> It's like it's really gonna make things awkward with the old co-workers, you know Anyway now that I think about it. I don't have much combat experience against spear users that thing is reach is crazy I'm glad we have one on our side and what's even better. She keeps wanting to improve herself I could feel her desire to get stronger from each and every one of her blows Arissa must really be trying hard to become the kind of knight she admires I should start trying harder, too, to match the effort these two, those two girls are giving. Oh, is that you, Kaguya? Mikage, you finished your special training? Yeah, just now. It was pretty productive. I see. That's good. <laughs> Very productive. Oh, yeah. Did you finish the business you had, Kaguya? No, I'm afraid I'm not finished yet. It's proving to be quite difficult. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, sorry. Am I prying too much? It's fine. Don't worry. I'm just trying to pick out a present. I was trying to find a present to send to my dad for his birthday, but I'm not sure what to give him. I see. Uh, I turned down joining you guys training to pick out a present, so it's understandable if you're mad. I'm not really mad, though. You love your dad, right? I think it's a perfectly good reason. I'm glad to hear you say that. Whoop. Alright, hang on. Uh, to the guide! Okay, obviously. I mean, it's very obvious about which one you would be doing, but just in case. Okay, help her pick out a present. If you're okay with it, would it be alright if I helped you, helped you pick out a present? You want to help, Mikage? Since it's for your dad, it might be helpful to have a guy's input, too, right? Of course, if you don't want my help, that's fine, too. That's that's true. That would be helpful. Thanks. In that case, do you mind helping me out for a bit? Not at all. I uh, I'd have I've got nothing to do at home anyway, so it's a good way to kill time. Thanks for helping. All right. Between the two of us, I will be able to pick out the best present ever. Indeed. Okay. Uh, man, it's great that we were able to find something good for your dad. Oh, there you go. We found a present. <laughs> Thank you. You really helped me out. I'll be sure to repay this favor one day. Don't worry about it. It wasn't that big of a deal. More importantly, I hope your dad likes it. Yes, I do too. Since we're done shopping, or oh, that, that's him, sorry. Since we're done shopping, I'm gonna go home. See you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. In, re in order to really learn from today's mistake, we've got to make sure to start working as a real team tomorrow. In order for us to be a real team... Wait, was that the same day? Was that the same day? I, I, I guess it was, it just didn't click. I, in my head, it felt like it had been a few days, but it hasn't. 
Like, so they, oh my god, so they, <laughs> they barely knew each other. <laughs> they barely knew each other. They don't know anything about each other. That just clicked in my head. So that, that was the same day, which means what? Like, they met each other, they got mad because he walks in on them changing, even though it's what he was told to do, because that other, because the instructor person's a perv too, I guess. And they got mad, they were okay with, they, they, they contemplated killing him, they decided not to, it was whatever, it's worth it. Then they go on a mission, shit doesn't go well, they got berated by their teacher, they went to go, tr they, they trained, they learned they're good fighters, they fucked, and then they, then he helped her pick out a present, and, and it's like, is that all the same day? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what a roller coaster of a day, holy shit! Wow, like, it moves, it moves so quickly. Wow, okay. Anyway, whatever. Alright, it's a bit early, but let's go to bed so we'll be, we'll be ready for tomorrow. Wow, I'm just beside myself. That's like, that was a really insane day for them. Anyway. Today's target will be the strongest opponent you have ever faced. A moment of carelessness could lead to your deaths. Do you three understand what you need to do to keep your risk of dying to a minimum? We work as a team. As long as you understand. But you can only truly say you understand after experiencing in it, it, it in battle. There's no value in understanding it only in theory. Keep that in mind at all times, and you will need to be able to succeed on this mission. That is all. Dismissed. Okay. Let's go get killed. We've got a pretty big lecture about it, too, so let's make sure we really nail that teamwork today. Alright, but what kind of monster is this, uh, Roper? R Roper that we have to fight today. We have to fight anyway. What do you mean by what kind of monster? Didn't you learn about it in class? We did? Sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> Ropers are magical creatures. They have a cylindrical body with a lot of tentacles. Tentacles. Oh, of course! <laughs> Obviously! Oh, tentacles, that's really disgusting. So they, uh, do they, so they attack with the tentacles then? Yes, they use their tentacles like whips to attack in complex patterns. <clears throat> their tentacle attacks are supposed to be really fast, right? I remember having hearing that it's so fast you can't follow their attacks with your eyes. Seriously? Also, if you're too focused on their tentacles, they'll hit you with a surprise attack by leaping at you with their main body. They're an opponent to be wary of. That sounds really strong. Or that sounds pretty strong, but today I'm gonna show you how awesome I am. I'm all fired up and ready to go. They won't get me with a sneak attack this time. I won't screw up and get caught like I did back with the slimes. Yeah, I'm sure you won't. I'm sure you won't. I'll take that roper down before it even gets a chance to react. Yeah, totally! Huh? Hey, wait a minute. Ah! Oh, shut- wow! What? Who could have foreseen? <laughs> Who could have foreseen such insane- su insane circumstances to befall us? Arisa, Makage, Kaguya, sorry. I almost said your name wrong, I know who you are. Uh, how did this happen? It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was careless. No, it's not that- it's not that any of us were careless. We kept all of our senses on high alert, so we'd be ready for any eventuality. Apparently not every eventuality. It's just that our opponent was too fast and too strong for us. This is a roper. I guess- I guess that's how you say that, roper. Hearing about him and facing one in real life are two very different things. Just wait, I'll save you both. That's right, if I get taken out too, we're done for. Their lives are in my hands now. I have to focus even more than I have been. I can't afford to take my eyes off of it even for an instant. Not even for an instant. Focus, 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 focus! Ah! 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 It keeps getting tighter, it's squeezing even harder! Let me go, you bastard! Ah! Ah! What is happening? Huh? Hey, what? The tentacles restraining Kage and Arisa start wriggling. Oh yeah, I could only imagine. As if mocking me for my helplessness, the roper uses tentacles to play with the two girls' bodies. The fiend! <laughs> hey, what are you? Stop it! Mm. Something's coming out of the tentacles. My clothes are starting to melt. Who would have thought? I can't believe it. <laughs> this is bad. Are we about to get dissolved? Don't worry. The fluid secreted by its tentacles only dissolves clothes. Of course. Obviously only dissolves clothes. It won't affect our bodies. I see. That's good to hear. But And I'm amazed at how calm you are given what's happening. There's nothing we can do in this situation. We, we have no choice but to leave it to Makage. Makage, hurry up and save us! Just wait, I'll save you guys as soon as I can. That being said, what should I do? If I carelessly jump in and get defeated, they'll both die too. If I bide my time, I'm sure a chance will come. Just gotta stand here and wait. <laughs> hey Kaguya, I'm just making sure, but it doesn't uh, do anything other than melt our clothes, right? I am certain of it, don't worry. But see, my body's starting to feel really hot. Oh uh, yeah, totally. Um, 
Uh, I did say earlier that it doesn't affect our bodies, but that isn't technically correct. What do you mean? It seems like the fluids secreted by these tentacles also act as an aphrodisiac. A uh, what? <laughs> are, are you sure? That's crazy. That's probably why you're starting to feel hot. What's the Academy doing keeping a monster like this underground? I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. What the hell are they thinking? Ah, uh, it's so hot. Oh, this is really bad. Certainly, this is not an ideal situation. I'm starting to lose my reasoning. Uh, even though I don't like it, I'm just getting wetter and wetter. Oh no, please stop <laughs> making me read this is killing me. It makes it seem like I'm actually enjoying this. And then there's the monster, I guess. The roper starts twining a tentacle up Arissa's thigh as she continues to struggle against it. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that was different. Let me just uh, hop back in here and turn that to the it. There we go. Wow. Okay, so that was that was different. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's see. To summarize. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So to summarize, um, they got jumped by the monster. I know. Really surprising. Lewd things happened. Many, many lewd things. Uh, you can expect, you can, you've seen hentai, you know what happened. Um, so, that's basically it, okay? The, fu the really funny fucking thing. So, they mentioned that the, the tentacle had an aphrodisiac vibe going on that affected them. So they loved it. They loved every second of it. Until afterwards. Um, so Kaguya is like innocent on the whole thing she doesn't know any about that stuff and so at which she confirmed afterwards which which is which was adorable honestly um made me love her all the more as if you didn't know who my who my type was gonna be you're like let's see kind of kind of a little more serious purple hair where have i seen this before <laughs> so we all knew what my type who my who my favorite was but um so she was kind of innocent. I can't even show the aftermath because there was a scene afterwards, but they were both standing there naked. So can't really show that um, either. So basically, uh, the afterwards, they're like, you know, um, uh, well, whatever the other, the blonde girl's name was. She was like, yeah, it, it was gross. And he's like, didn't you, you looked like you were really enjoying it. And then she's like, well, it was, a, you know, the carrot and the stick kind of vibe, kind of thing going on. She's like, it, you know, it it was nice at the time, but it, and it was nicer than it was awful, but it was kind of awful. You know, so she was a very mixed, mixed bag there. Um, and Kaguya had, or no, that, that that's the purple girl. Um, the main dude, um, whatever his name is, our guy, he had an anime moment, but only after everything happened to the girls. And it was, it was so fucking funny because they, they got, they got jumped and like just insane things happened to the girls. He's just, I guess, standing there. Like he's just like standing there doing nothing. And then after they're both done, then he's like, okay, but no more fooling around. And then he like charges in, has an anime moment. There's like intense kick-ass music turns on. He's like dodging tentacles and stuff and flying around like and the girls are both like oh my god he's way better than i thought he was and he's like straight up having like a you know naruto moment or like a ichigo from bleach moment <laughs> like dodging tentacles with his dual katanas and just deletes the thing right and so he had this anime moment but only after they were done and it was so fucking funny picturing him just like standing there being like being like what do i do like he just stands there he's like not yet not yet not yet okay now i can save them <laughs> <laughs> it was such a funny mental image. Anyway, so that was that was different. So they failed again to work to work work together. The girls were astounded that he was that he was so amazing, and uh, even more amazing than they thought. And they thanked him for saving their lives. So you know, today didn't go so well either. We were able to defeat our opponent in the end, but we were this close to getting wiped out. And the girls didn't do anything. Well. They had they had the work cut out for them too, but different. And uh, the, our main dude is the only reason that they that we all didn't die. So you know. And what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is the instructor on right now? Sending us to all these monsters beneath the school. Why are they all here? And why are they all perverted? <laughs> like, what is the instructor thinking? Is she's is she's more perverted than all of us? Anyway, it's true that our opponent this time was strong, but even more strong enemies are just going to keep keep on appearing. So what do we do wrong? How do we perfect our teamwork so that we have no blind spots? If we don't solve this problem soon, eventually we'll run into trouble. And that is a situation we must avoid at all costs. I don't want to see any, to see anyone die ever again. Oh no, <laughs> tragic backstory. I don't want to have I don't want to witness something like that ever again. Yeah, never again. Oh god, tragic backstory. 
Uh, sleepy. I stayed up too late last night thinking about how we could improve our coordination and teamwork. I need to clear away my drowsiness before we start our mission, or I'll likely uh, make another mistake today. Maybe I should wash my face again when I get to the academy. Kia! What was that? I suddenly hear a woman scream. I instinctively dash towards the sound of the scream. A monster? A giant spider was walking down the main street of the city. There's a barrier that protects the city, but occasionally monsters find their way in. And now's now, but now's not the time to think about that. At this rate, there might be casualties. I need to defeat it as soon as possible. But I don't have any weapons on me right now. I can't fight against the monster unarmed. What am I hesitating for? Protect the citizens is, protecting the citizens is a knight's duty. Even if I don't have any weapons, I'm still a knight. I can at least draw its attention and buy enough time for the citizens to evacuate. As soon as I have resolved myself to do it, I hear a familiar stern voice shout out. You got a rather big stray in our hands this time. My dad shows up with a few of his subordinates following behind him. That's been I had been about to jump forward, but I stop at my tracks and stare. Jin, Shino, and I and I will handle the big guy. Teresa and uh Nayan, or however you say that, stand in stand by just in case something unexpected happens. Everyone else guide the citizens to a safe location. Alright, now let's get this party started. Jin, Shino, go for the legs. We'll have it scuttling around we can't have it scuttling around like that. Teresa and the other girl fall back a little. It might be able to fire projectiles of some kind. Everyone starts moving to their respective positions the moment Zero finishes giving orders. The two burly looking knights called Jin and Shino move into position fluidly and flank the spider. Without ever taking a moment to pause, they charge in and with a single attack cut off all the spider's legs. Amazing, they cut off its legs so easily. What incredible skill and strength. Good job you two, but I'm afraid I'll be taking the fun part. My dad stands in front of the now immobile spider grinning and raises his insanely huge sword, which is more than a giant lump of metal, which is more of a giant lump of metal than anything else. The battle ends in an instant. The giant spider is cleaved in two instantaneously. What a what a monster. I've never even seen him swing his sword. Now only could I not see it, I couldn't even sense him making a move to swing it downwards. I can't help but be amazed by how strong how the strongest knight in the country fights. I thought I'd grown stronger recently, but it looks like I've still got a long way to go. <laughs> I'm still nowhere near his level. I just stood there and gazed at my father, retreat, my father's retreating back. <laughs> Hi, Dad, by the way. <laughs> anyway, this morning, a monster appeared in the Ganma ward of the city. The knights uh, that rushed onto the scene were able to draw the deal with the threat swiftly. There are occasionally some monsters who manage to make it past the barrier and wander into town, but the frequency with which they've been appearing these past few weeks is unnatural. There might be some meaning behind the monster's increased activity. Occasionally, couples have gone missing from the cemeteries in the villages and towns around the capital. One cannot help but think there is something suspicious going on. Hopefully it isn't really anything important, but everyone should be on their guard just in case. Now then, I shall inform you of today's mission. The three of you will participate in a mock battle with me. If you can land even one hit on me, it'll be a, it'll be your victory. Or it's gonna be three versus one? Or, it's gonna be three versus one? No matter how strong you are, if it's the three of us against you, we'll be able to win easily enough. Oh, my sweet summer child. <laughs> Did, have you seen Naruto? He's like, take the bells from me, and it's a catastrophe. <laughs> so, it's like, just don't. Anyway, do you really think so? Yeah, well, we've got three people here. Mikage is really strong, too. If anything, it'd be weird if we lost. <laughs> Yo, my sweet summer child. Then why not see you? Not, why not see if you can beat me? We'll see if this mission truly is as strong as you true as you believe. It'd be wise to assume the instructor didn't give us these favorable conditions for no reason. Does that mean she thinks she won't lose, even if it's uh, even against three of us at once? Regardless, we'll know for sure once we give it a try. I'm sure we'll be able to understand the meaning behind the mission once we start too. Now then, let's move to the training grounds. <laughs> They're gonna get destroyed, and there's no shot. Gosh, she's strong. Exhausted already? How pathetic. Is this really all you three have got? I don't care what you say, my legs are dead. I can't move anymore. I can't believe we can't even get a single attack in among the three of us. Sheesh, it looks like you guys really are this week. What a letdown. I thought you'd at least be a little stronger than this. What have you learned all these years at the Academy? How to slack off? You're just too strong. I thought Mikage was strong, but you're way stronger than him even. It's not fair. It's not, that's not true at all. By my estimate, Shinzaki is at least three times stronger than me. In terms of pure combat ability, he's, al he's already as strong as the Holy Knights. In the terms of you, and the two of you have a lot of potential as well. So why can't we win? Put simply, you three aren't using your numbers to your advantage. Basically, your coordination's lacking. The three of you are just go doing as you please, and the result is you don't you keep getting in the other's way. Well, I'm stringing you three along to help make that happen too. But if you three could just work together, getting a hit on me would be a piece of cake. 
As you are now, though, you three are simply exposing yourselves to needless danger. It's honestly pathetic. I've told you many times already, but you guys need to understand the importance of teamwork. Stop wasting your time and find a solution to your problem, all of you. All That's all for today. Dismissed. She wiped the floor with us. I can't believe it. We lost even though it was three versus one. It's the difference in experience. She was able to completely expose and take advantage of our weakness. All I can say is she's amazing. I guess we definitely need to work on our teamwork. As long as we can't work together, there's no way we'll be able to take on stronger foes. We learned that, that we learned that the hard way today. But still, that's exactly what exactly should we do to improve our teamwork? It's not like we can just magically work work together better. What do you think is the most important factor in improving our teamwork? It's trust. We have to understand how your partner is going to move, what actions they're going to take, if they're going to work together, if you're going to work together successfully. I know that, but isn't that something you can only build up naturally over time? Indeed. It's only been a few days since we became part of the same team. It would be hard for us to synchronize like that. Synchronize. It's true that it, that isn't something we can accomplish in a short amount of time. Speaking of teamwork, you know that monster that showed up in town this morning? I was there. Huh? Seriously? Yeah, I saw it with all my own eyes. My dad's unit was the one that took it out. Your dad was there too, Kaguya. And? Well... <laughs> At the time, I was simply impressed with my dad's overwhelming combat prowess, but looking back, the way he commanded his team and how they all worked together was really impressive as well. D the dad I know is ridiculously strong to the point of being overbearing. I don't think that same dad could give orders so proficiently. And his subordinates too, they moved according to his instructions almost instant instantly. The way they moved into position was perfect as well. Everything about that battle was magnificent. It's the lead unit uh, that by the strongest knight in the kingdom, so of course they'd all be elites. Is it normal for them to be able to do that easily? I believe the point Mikage is trying to make here is something else. We've all been talking about improving our teamwork the whole time, but whenever we get into a fight, we talk as little as possible. It's only been a few days since we started to work as a team, so there's no way we'd be able to read each other's thought intentions perfectly. Our problem is that we aren't communicating at all. Whoop. Oh, I guess that is what happens. I was like, did I skip ahead? What happened? So you're saying we need more skinship? I don't think I, I don't think that's what he was saying, actually. <laughs> like this? What are you? Uh, they're so big and soft and smell nice. Just where do you where do you think you're touching? You know exactly where I'm touching. Oh, they're all squishy. It's amazing. Uh, you have a pair of your own, don't you? Don't you think like fawning other people's breasts or something? Rubbing other people's is different than rubbing my own. Man, I'm jealous. I wish mine were as big as yours, Kaguya. There's nothing good about having bigger breasts. Their weight makes your shoulders feel heavy all the time, and you just get and just get in your way in fights. Really? I think your I think bigger is better, though. Don't you think so too, Mikage? I'm pretty sure I actually know because I think I remember glancing at the size of uh, uh, size. Oh my god! I read the word size. I read the word size, and I was thinking guide. Sorry, I gotta con con consult my guide. Okay, well, big boobs are justice, so they say. Yeah, I think big, uh, bigger boobs are justice too. Justice? See, bigger is better. Big boobs are justice. I still don't understand what you're trying to say. We're saying you're great, Kaguya. Yeah, exactly. This doesn't answer my question, though. Um, nothing, really. Anyway, we've gotten off topic. The point is, if we shout out orders, we might be able to work together without getting in each other's way. That's a very solid proposal. That's something we don't need a lot of time to be able to do. If that's something we don't need a lot of time to be able to do efficiently. If we're going to do that, then we need a leader who's giving the orders, right? Right up front, not it. I would prefer not to fill that role either. In that case, our leader is you, Mikage. Huh? Me? Yes, you. Considering your strength and abilities, you are the most fitting person for the job. Looking forward to working with you, leader. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to working with you. The decision has been made, so you've got to do it. You don't get to refuse. Ha, <laughs> got it. Well, I don't know if I can handle this job or not, but since I've got to do it, I'll try to do it right. Make sure you train hardest and not disappoint us. Ah, but you know, going back to my proposal, I really do think we need to get to know each other better. It might be a bit awkward at first, but it's only through awkward conversations that we'll be able to get stronger. That's true. So what do you have some kind of plan in mind for that? I'm assuming this isn't happening anymore, by the way. It just hasn't switched screens, okay? <laughs> anyway, uh, how about we try living together for a bit? We'll be able to get to know each other better that way, since we'll have so many opportunities to talk to each other. Live together? I think, I think it's a great idea. Let's do it. Is this really okay? I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. That's settled then. We'll be living with you, Mikage. Thanks in advance. What? Oh, so, well, yeah, wow. Who could have foreseen that? <laughs> My dad will be surprised. I mean, what, he's not home anyway. He has his own room. Whatever. Anyway, how did this end up happening? It's true that we have to get to know each other better to work as a team. But how did this suddenly translate to all of us living together? And besides, are their families are even okay with this? My dad is practically never home. 
Won't they be concerned something could happen? Yeah, that's probably that's probably gonna happen. No matter how much of those, uh, matter how much those t those two want to, I'm sure their families are gonna object. I ended up running into Kage on my way here, but this means we're already on the same wavelength, right? It was just a coincidence. It's best not to attribute any special meaning to it. Haha, <laughs> you think so? You guys really came? Obviously. Do you think we were joking? No, but are your parents even okay with this? I told them I was gonna stay at Zero's place to do special night training, and they just told me to work hard. And Kaguya? More or less the same response as Arisa's parents. How do I say this? I guess your parents are very understanding. Mikage, we're a team. So if there's something you want to say, just tell it to us straight. If it's a problem to have us suddenly move in with you, just say so. Eh? Are we bothering you? There's no fucking shot. Yeah, obviously, obviously we knew what he was going to say. Uh, it's not that it bothers me, but... It's not that it bothers me, but... But what? Just living together with two girls is kind of embarrassing, you know? You'll get used to it soon enough, don't worry. You two aren't worried about living together with a guy? Not really, should we be? I have no problem with it either. I see. Alright, since you're letting me stay here, I'll do the cooking. Whoops, sorry. Despite how I look, I'm pretty confident in my cooking. You did say your hobby was cooking back when you introduced yourself, but is that really okay? I'm fine with it, don't worry so much. Or is it that you like cooking too and want to cook for yourself? Nope, I, if you're fine with it, then please feel free to cook. Leave it to me. I should contribute something to show my to show my gratitude as well. You don't have to force yourself to be helpful. Just, if you feel like doing something, then do it. You too, Arissa. If there are times you don't feel like cooking, don't force yourself. Got it. Understood. Alright then, I'll show you to your room. Are you two girls alright sharing a room? Of course. I don't mind. Okay, then follow me. Guess I'll be hanging out in my room until dinner's ready. Now that I think about it, how many years has it been since I last had someone else cook for me? My dad cooked while he was here over the last few days, but his food tastes worse than death, so, it's, so I just made my own. Man, that takes me back. It's been 12 years since anyone cooked for me. Hmm? The door's open, so door's open, come on in. What's up? Dinner's ready, so you should get up here, up here before it gets cold, is what Arissa told me to tell you. I see, thanks for telling me. No need to thank me. If uh, anything, you should, you should thank Arissa. Yeah, I'm looking forward to dinner. I wonder what she's made. It looked delicious when I saw it. I'm sure it will not fall short of your expectations. Now I'm even more excited to see what she's made. All right, let's go. Yes, let's. Thanks for the food. Thanks for the food. Eat up, everyone. Aw, that's adorable. <laughs> With the little heart. <laughs> anyway, uh, delicious. Holy crap, this is so good. I've never eaten anything so delicious in my life. Amazing. This might even be better than what our chef makes at home. Yeah, this is great. Or yeah, this is great. It feels like my tongue is melting. I made a bunch, so if you guys want seconds, just go for it. Oh yeah, I'll definitely get more. I could eat this stuff forever. You made this with what we had lying around here? I'm amazed you managed to cook something like this just out of just that. The the real pleasure in cooking is coming up with new recipes. You just have you have more than enough at home to make something like this. Uh, you really are amazing. Compared to you, I'm just what's wrong? I felt bad for making Arisa do all the work, so I thought I'd help out with the cooking, but the results were pretty much inedible. So what do you do with the food you made, Kaguya? I threw it away. Wasn't even fit to look at, much less eat. One glance and it would haunt your nightmares forever. <laughs> then what did you make? <laughs> oh yeah, can I please get seconds? Of course, here you go. Man, I really could eat this forever. I guess guys really like their food. Yeah, seeing how much you enjoy it makes all the effort I put in worthwhile. I'm really surprised though, I didn't think you'd be this good at cooking. Oh, were you not expecting much from me? Did you think I wouldn't be able to make something good? I never thought that. It's just that you're uh, you're way better than I even expected. I was just surprised is all. If you're if you're this good, you must cook regularly, right? Regularly? Try every day. I'm the one that has to do all the cooking at home all the time. And now they're at home starving because I left to be with you. Anyway, is everyone at home doing okay without you to do the cooking for them then? It's fine, it's fine. The oldest of my younger sisters is there, so they'll be fine. The oldest of your younger... Oh, that's right. You have five other siblings, don't you? Are you the oldest, Arissa? Yep, I'm the oldest one. Do you have any siblings, Kaguya? Unfortunately not. An only child, huh? I'm jealous. Jealous? Why? Because you get to live a quiet life instead of being bothered by people constantly. Having siblings is really annoying. It's no noisy everywhere you go. Depends on the siblings. It wasn't very noisy at my house with my sisters. Anyway, uh, I guess someone with a lot of siblings with w uh, would envy an only child, wouldn't they? Hmm, well, I don't deny it, but I guess in the end I really do like having siblings. It's more fun than it is annoying. What a wonderful family you must have. Oh yeah, it's been bothering me for a while now, but Kaguya, your family has a cook? Yeah, uh, is there something strange about that? It's not strange, but then what well, means you have maids and stuff too, right? Very perceptive of you. We have seven maids. An aristocrat? We've got ourselves an aristocrat here, Makage. Ah, this is really nice, guys. It's been ages since I had company at dinner. 
then I guess things are gonna stay fun for a while. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's cute. That's cute. Oh man, I'm stuffed. It was so good, I think I ate too much. Uh, I was worried about how things would go in the beginning, but if this is the kind of food I get to eat every day, I don't think I'll mind us living together after all. Anyway, now that I'm full, guess I'll go take a shower. Uh, the lights are on and it's warm. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Alright, uh, <coughs> we're back. Hang on, I gotta, hang on, I gotta, eh. Okay, we're back. Uh, it was, uh, it was the waifu. The, uh, it was Bay. In, in in the shower and uh, and oddly she's like dead deadpan calm even with me in there even with even with Makage in there she did not care at all about being walked in on and um, didn't bother her a bit and apparently and so uh, there was some interesting dialogue there um, apparently she feels mildly obligated to allow Kaguya to do it or Kaguya I don't even remember if that's his name or her name or what. I think it's her name. Anyway, she doesn't. She feels a little, little obligated for Makage to do whatever he wants to her because she can't cook and she doesn't feel like she contributes at all, and um, which is and it's interesting. Um, she thanked him again for for allowing her unreasonable request, as she put it, to allow them to live with allowing her and Blondie to live with him. Um, she thanked him again for that, and it was interesting. <laughs> It was interesting. So she is my favorite, and my impression that she is this calm, mature, and I give her that like that lower voice is correct because when you turn on the voice acting, that's what she sounds like. She she sounds much more of this calmer, mature esque character, and uh, that works really well. So turns out my basic instinct that the other girl has a higher pitch kind of a kind of vibe is true. So good to know. Anyway, oh, we might have spent too long in the bath. I'm starting to feel dizzy. This was actually less time than usual for me. Seriously? You take long baths, Kaguya? I don't think they're particularly long. Then again, baths help me clear my head, so, or are, so I use them to calm down. You don't think about anything? I always end up thinking about all sorts of stuff in the bath. What sorts of things do you think about? Mostly just reflecting on what happened during the day. For example, today, I thought about how we couldn't even touch the instructor, or how I got myself some new roommates. You mean us? What do you think of it? I've just naturally been living alone for so long, so having new roommates uh, really livened the place up. You don't feel lonely being alone all the time? It's just how things have been since I was a kid, so I guess I never felt particularly lonely, but, so I guess I never felt particularly lonely, no. I suppose it's only natural that you get flustered with us moving in so suddenly. It would be, I would be lying if I said I wasn't, but I'm more ho hopeful than anything. Just what does the future hold for us? To me, that's what's more important. That's why, Kaguya, you don't have to concern yourself with being polite. Oh, that's the other thing, is she, like, referred to him as the master of the house. And, like, she's, like, really, she's, like, super polite. She definitely has that aristocrat, you know, high manners vibe going on, you know. Which, of course, I, I vibe with. That, that works. Anyway, as long as we're just uh, generally courteous, I'm sure we'll all come to like each other soon enough. I will respect the landlord's wishes, but I'm surprised you accepted living with a guy so readily. It goes to show that just how high my respect for a man called Zero is, even though my dad really never even comes home. And besides, no matter how much you respect my dad, I'm still me, you know? Aren't you worried I might do something? You know, we practically had sex on our first day here. <laughs> well, that was, yeah, I'm kidding. I was the one who asked, so don't worry about it. Is that really okay? I already knew Zero isn't at home often. The reason I still thought it was a good idea was because of Arissa. Uh, if there's one more girl around, I'm you'll feel less anxious. It's not just that. We thought it only natural that the son of Zero would be, would be trustworthy too. Just because I'm my dad's son, there's there's no reason to trust me. Then are you planning on doing something unscrupulous to us? No way, I would never. See, that's why we trust you. If we can't even trust our comrades, that the idea of living together is just a joke. I guess that's true. I trust you, Makage. I'll do my best never to betray that trust, as will I. Aww, that was sweet. A lot of stuff happened all at once, but I figure we should just do this whole living together thing and get to know each other better. This is important for the team as a whole, but also for me. But it's it's getting pretty late, so I should head to bed. It still feels strange, though, knowing these two girls are sleeping on the other side of that wall. Yeah, well, you know. Hmm. Ugh, morning already. Hmm, what's this strange feeling? Panicking about this unfamiliar sensation. <laughs> I already know what's happening. I look around and see something snuggled up and the food's all next to me. Okay, up front, this definitely wasn't here when I went to bed. In other words, something must have happened between the time I went to bed and right now. Yeah, no shit. There's no trace of any harm done to my body, so does this mean whoever this is doesn't mean me any harm? 
No, it obviously it's one of the girls. What's your problem? It's also possible that they're trying to ease me to to get me to lower my guard. But just thinking about it isn't going to solve anything. If I turn over the futon, I'll get my answers. I take a small breath and turn the futon over. Oh my god. I don't even, I don't, don't, don't have to censor that. No, she's so pretty. Kaguya? What are you doing in my bed, Kaguya? She's like, nope, sleepy. Well, at least she's sleeping soundly. I feel bad if I woke her up. But she's so pretty when she's asleep. Up close like this, you can see how beautiful she really is. She's very stylish, too. She looks much more suited to dancing in a dress and swinging a sword around. And she's from a prestigious family. Why, why does she want to be a knight? I guess everyone has their own circumstances. It's probably not saying something I should pry into. Meanwhile, she's sleeping soundly. She's so cute when she's sleeping. It occurred to me yesterday in the shower, too, how she... How is she so comfortable around me already? I find it odd that she trusts me so much, but I suppose this is the point of living together. I cannot help but be a little mesmerized as she lays there so peacefully. Don't test my heart so... This man may very well become a regular... This may very well become a regular occurrence in the future. You must endure. Endure, Mikage Shinzaki! Yeah, good luck enduring, idiot. Anyway, some people have all the luck. <laughs> I had never had... I had better not stay here and keep staring. It's probably best to get up now. Well, that's cute. Good morning, Mikage. Good morning. You're up early, Arissa. Really? This is when I usually get up. I'm making breakfast right now, so just wait a little, okay? Mmm, smells good. Can't wait to eat. Ha, huh, you're, I, I see you're raising the bar already. Can't expect too much of me now. Don't worry, if it's you, Arissa, you'll easily surpass my expectations. Yesterday's dinner was a truly moving experience. I never realized such delicious food could exist in this world. You're just exaggerating. No, I'm serious. So much so, I wish you'd be my bride. Bride? Uh, um, anyway, I was, it was really something. What the heck did you eat before now? I would just, whatever, I just bought whatever and made it, usually. Or there were times when I just couldn't be bothered to cook and didn't eat at all. Eating's whatever's still better. Eating whatever is still better than nothing. You have to eat properly, you know. I know, but when you live alone, you stop caring about what you eat. Well, not, re not really. That's why you're amazing, Arissa. Don't you make food for your family every day? I just like cooking is all. I'm just doing what I like, so there's nothing really great about it. Oh yeah, I got a shock when I woke up this morning. Kaguya was sleeping next to me. I was wondering why she wasn't here when I woke up, but to think that sh that's where she went. Don't tell me you made a move on her. No, no, I didn't do anything to her. She just seemed to be sleeping soundly. She was just seemed to be sleeping soundly, soundly next to me. Maybe she was half asleep and walked into the wrong room. That's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, that could. There's no other possibility. Anyway, I thought she was pretty. I thought she was pretty composed, but I guess there are times when she dozes off too, huh? Kage is beautiful, but she's a. She has a cute side to her too. You could certainly say that. At first glance, it seems like she's invincible and always composed, but in truth, she's got a lot of weaknesses. Yeah, yeah, it's Gap Moe. Mm. Ah, morning, Kaguya. Hmm? <laughs> oh no, she's still half asleep. Not a morning person, huh? That's a surprise. Hmm? <laughs> she so, she's like such a zombie in the morning. She's like, I'm okay. It's gonna rush us head on. Uh, I'll be the bait. Kaga, you take the left, Arista go right. Take it down from its blind spot. Once it's distracted, I'll jump in too. Once that happens, we come in from all three sides for the kill. Don't even give it a chance to fight back. Finish it in one go. Roger. Roger. Aye, aye, sir. All right, I'm starting the countdown. Three, two, one, go. On my signal, Arissa and Kaguya began moving to their respective positions. In order to keep the enemy's attention away from them, I stand right in front of it with my swords ready. Over here, monster, come at me if you dare. And, oh, the Minotaur. It's a Minotaur. The Minotaur brandishes its enormous axe. Its roar is so loud it gives me goosebumps. You think that kind of telegraph move is going to hit me? I sidestep his giant swing. The axe slams into the ground, crushing part of the floor and sending rubble flying everywhere. That's some crazy destructive power, but it doesn't matter if you can't hit me. Come on, is that all you got? Moo! <laughs> Angry cow noises. Uh, seems like my insults managed to enrage the Minotaur. He's focusing only on me now. As if he'd been, as if she'd been waiting for that moment, Arissa leaps forward. Yeah! Moo! <laughs> the Minotaur screams in pain as Arissa lands a critical hit on its side. Yeah, I was finally able to do something useful! Staggering from my blow, the giant Minotaur turns his rage-filled eyes towards Arissa, but just then Kaguya leaps out from behind him. Your back's wide open! Angry cow noises. Kaguya slashes diagonally downwards, and the damage from the blow forces the Minotaur to his knees. This is the perfect opportunity. I can't let this chance slip by. Don't let up, but don't push too deep. Watch out for a counterattack. Roger! Understood. Take this, monster! Ah! Look at that, we worked together for a change. It wasn't perfect, but you three managed to work together for the first time. Keep working on further improving your teamwork. The three of you have finally reached the starting line. <laughs> oh, cool! <laughs> We're finally less than just hot dog water, finally. Anyway, 
so good work. Take the rest of the day off. Dismissed. Oh, cool. We got praise for a change. <laughs> yeah. She finally praised us. I know. I was worried about what might happen there for a moment, but now we can finally take a breather. Yeah, yeah. This is all because we started living together. I think it's a bit too soon for the effects of that to be showing. That's more of a long-term thing. But if we continue to live together, we'll be able to produce even better results eventually. Yeah, the more we get to know each, know each other, uh, the more know about each other, that's like confusing to me, uh, the more we'll be able to tighten up our movements when we fight together. Yes, if we come to understand ourselves and each other's better than before, it'll be easier for Mikage to give orders as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, that was some really good leadership you showed back there, Mikage. It felt like you made the whole battle a lot easier. You have the ability to give the most effective orders for any uh, given situation. You'll, you're definitely suited to be our leader. Yeah, leader, you're the awesome, the best. Oh, there we go. To the, to the guide. Okay, uh, it's all thanks to you guys, really. I'm, it's only because you two were able to respond to my orders instantly that it went as well as it did. And those were some great attacks. We practically won with just you, the, the two attacks you guys landed in the beginning. They were pretty good, if I do say so myself. I can still feel the force of my hands when I hit the Minotaur. I am still not satisfied with how I performed. Since I was attacking him from a completely unguarded position, I should have been able to kill him with one blow. I'm still lacking. Considering how hard and how hardy Minotaurs are, I'd still call that a success. Though I think it's a good thing that you're setting, the, you're setting your goals that high. Anyway, we finally completed a mission successfully. Let's celebrate. In other words, let's have a party. I'll make the best dinner you guys have ever tasted. Food, I'm in. Alright, since that's decided, let's go grocery shopping. Yeah! Grocery shopping! Let's do it. You got a minute? Yes, feel free to come in. Thanks. Wow! <laughs> Didn't expect that. Were you about to go to sleep? N no, I was simply relaxing for a bit. I don't have I don't have to censor this yet, so we're not there yet, but any second. <laughs> I'll have to. Anyway. What do you need this late at night? Is there a problem? Not really, just feeling a bit bored. Uh, thought I'd talk with you a, little, a bit first. Oh, come on in, come in. If you want to talk, we can talk the night away. We have tomorrow off anyway. I love how energetic you always are, Arissa. That's me, always energetic and optimistic. So, what do you want to talk about? Why don't we reflect on today's mission? Oh, that's a good idea. Man, my heart's still pounding from that. I feel like we did something amazing back there. I want to be able to feel that sense of accomplishment again. So I've got to keep working hard. It's a little hard to concentrate with this on the screen. <laughs> anyway, agreed. It felt completely different from what I achieved when I achieved things on my own. Perhaps it was just my imagination, but it felt more satisfying. It's not just your imagination, I felt it too. What about you, Mikage? I felt the same. Honestly, when we first started, I didn't see the point in teamwork. But after seeing that perfect pincer today, I finally understand what the instructor was talking about. You doubted this necessity of teamwork? Yeah, well, more like I felt like I could handle enemies on my own anyway, so there was no real point to working as a team. Like, if I got too hung up on trying to coordinate with everyone else, it would hinder my own movements. Stuff like that, basically. That's true. I always kind of thought it'd be easier if I take everything out on my own. But today we learned that teamwork is import uh, important. It lowers each individual's risk of getting injured and increases the chances of success. Yep, so that's why we need to understand each other better. So, so we can work together more efficiently. But we really nailed it on today's mission. It was definitely the right choice picking you as our leader. It's like I said before, Mikage. You have all the right leadership qualities. It's in your blood, as I'd expect of Zero's son. Uh, that's not quite true. What do you mean? It's not my- he's not my real dad. We're not blood related. Uh, sorry, I didn't know that. It's nothing you need to apologize for. A lot of people get it wrong. I was born in a village that used to be near the capital. Used to be? Is it not there anymore? One day, a group of orcs came and destroyed it. It was just a bunch of empty ruins now. My parents were killed right in front of me. I thought I was I thought I was going to be next. But then the knights came and defeated all the orcs. The, the one leading the group that saved me was Zero. Afterwards, Dad decided to take me in as his son, since I had no other relatives. That's rough. Yeah, really. Uh, really, though, it's a pretty common story. The kind of thing happened a lot to people. Ha it happened to a lot of people. In that sense, I'm pretty blessed that I, since I got adopted by Dad. Because of that, I got a second chance. A second chance? A second chance at what? I felt so helpless before, watching my parents get killed right before my eyes. It was so frustrating knowing I could've- I didn't have the power to defend myself. If I'd been stronger, it would've been- I would've ended it like that. That's why I want to be stronger, like Dad is. I want to be able to protect someone next time. So that's why you want to be a knight, Mikage? I want to stop that commonplace story from being so common. That's why I took up the sword. That's amazing. I don't have any words for it, it's just amazing. Indeed, our reasons for becoming knights are completely different. I have no, no, no noble reason like yours. May I ask you something? Why did you become a knight? I came from a long- I come from a long line of knights. As the current head of the family, my father has no other children. That's all. What about you, Arissa? 
my dad contracted a fatal a fatal illness a few years back. Since then, my mom has had to raise the six of us all on her own. But she's working so hard, it's ruining her health. So I want to become a knight to be able to support my family. My siblings are all still too young. But knights get paid really well, and they got great benefits too. Great dental! <laughs> anyway, so even after I retire, I'll be able to bring back I'll bring back uh, some money, and that way, if I die, my family will still get some money. There's no other job that promises this much. We all have our own reasons, but that doesn't change the fact that we're all aiming to become knights. Let's work together to be the best knights we can be. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Well, that was wholesome, considering that's I guess what they wear to bed. Anyway, man, I slept well. Oh wow, it's almost noon, high noon already. <laughs> it's high noon. The exhaustion must have, must have caught up with me. I know we've got the day off, but I still can't believe I slept this late. Guess I'll go wash my face. Good morning, Makage. Morning, you, morning, you slept in pretty late. Yeah, but now I feel totally refreshed. Right now, I feel like I could take down any monster. Save that energy for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, well, you gotta rest up on your days off. Though I'll be going out myself. Really? Well, I'm just going back home for a bit, really. I'm worried about Mom. Do you have anything to do, Kaguya? Today, Kaguya? I'll be returning home for a short time, too. I see. Got it. Alright, I'm gonna head off, then. As am I. I'll be, yep, be safe, you two. Alright, guess I'll go clean my room, then. Good for you for being productive. Oh, man, I sure ate a lot. Thank God Arissa made lunch uh, for me before she left. I cleaned my room and had lunch, so there's nothing else left for me to do. So what do I do now? Now, we gotta look at the guide. Okay, we're going shopping. Guess I'll go shopping. Let's go. Not only was I able to get my shopping done, but I did all my sword maintenance as well. What a productive day. I wonder if Kage and Arissa managed to have a productive day too. Well, there were their families. Uh, they're with their families, so that's pretty likely. I wonder what they're up to right now. Makage? Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Kaguya, what are you wearing? I knew it. It doesn't suit me, does it? No, no, that's not what I meant. It does look great on you, like seriously. Really? Yes, really, you look really pretty. It's just rather different, I guess? I see. So I'm not pretty in what I normally wear? No, no, why do you always assume the worst? You're always pretty, but you're even prettier than usual right now. I see, thank you. Anyways, um, what's up? Or rather, what's the occasion? I was gonna have dinner with my family. I see. What are you guys going? Are you guys gonna eat here? That was the plan. Is that a problem? Uh, no, not at all. This is a high, uh, high class three star restaurant. If she's eating here, she really is an aristocrat. Sorry, they're calling for me, so I must go. Yeah, enjoy your family dinner. I will. Thank you. All right, guess I'll head back too. Wow. Thanks for the food. I made something quick and easy for dinner, but I don't feel satisfied. Is that is it that I can't feel full at all right now? Actually, I don't even need to feel need to wonder. It's because I've changed so much. Over the past few days, I've come to learn the true joy of tasty food. I can no longer be satisfied with the crappy food I make for myself. Delicious, delicious food has a, a terrifying allure. To think my stomach has become captivated by that food in such a short time. Arisa Moegihara has returned. I'm home. Welcome back, you two. I thought you'd stay over at your places tonight. I was considering it, but I thought you might be getting lonely. I intended to return home tonight all along. How was it? Did you two enjoy your day? I did indeed. Yeah, it was, but it was pretty tiring too. What happened? I spent the whole day playing together with my little brother and sister. I felt like I ran around even more than usual. I'm totally beat. Young people are amazing. They never get tired. That's not, you're not, that, not all that old yourself, you know. I'm sure that they were just happy to be able to play with their sister again after so long. I haven't really been away that long, though. Though this is the first time I've been been home for over a day. Your uh, siblings really love you, huh? So what you do today, Makage? I... Did a bunch of chores. <laughs> Went shopping. I can't fall asleep. I don't know why, but I'm just not that sleepy. This isn't good. I have school tomorrow, too. And just when you'd finally, we finally managed to get our teamwork down. If we end up failing our mission because I'm tired, I won't be able to look either of them in the eye. But even if I try to force myself to sleep, I won't be able to. Guess I'll just take a walk for a bit and let the night air clear my head. Mikage? Oh, what are you doing up this late? I can't seem to fall asleep. You too, huh? I can't either. So I was thinking about taking a walk for a bit. Would you like to join me? I see. Very well, I shall join you. Okay, shall we? The wind is pleasant, and the moon is beautiful tonight. Yeah, it's perfect weather for a walk. How was your day? How was your day? It wasn't long, I know, but were you able to relax a little during your time alone? Hmm, well, I managed to finish some things that needed to get done, and I guess I relaxed, but I feel like it wasn't enough somehow. Why, is there something you're unsatisfied about? I wouldn't say I'm unsatisfied. I guess it's more like I just felt lonely with you two gone. Dad's always too busy with work to come home much, so I was pretty much living on my own before you two got here. The house is more lively with you two in it. I started to think it was pretty fun. It's only been a few days, but I really do enjoy having you here. That's why I felt a bit lonely when I was back on my own. 
I see. And you're not and you're not lonely now? Of course not. I have you with me right now. I have you with me right now, right, Kaguya? That's good. How was your dinner with your family, by the way? Was the food good? Yes, but the food Arisa makes is better. You can feel the love she pours into the food she makes for others. Even a three-star restaurant can't compare to her cooking, huh? I wouldn't quite say I was lonely, but I've realized something since coming to live with you. My house is a big manor with lots of servants who are always working hard to take care of the house and its inhabitants. But no matter how kind they are, they're simply hired servants. No one there talks to me as an equal. Maybe you two don't see it that way, but I'm truly glad that I was able to meet you and Arisa. You two are my irreplaceable friends. So I'll protect you two. Do you really call it friends if you like, like do things with them? <laughs> <laughs> friends with benefits doesn't quite cut it for me. Like, that doesn't sound like something friends do. Like, that just sounds like a relationship with while pretending you're not committed. Like, that doesn't, like, that's not a thing. Anyway, I don't know. So I want to become a knight together with you two. I see. Yeah, that's right. I'll protect you two as well, no matter what happens. Cute little laugh. Or maybe she's a shiver. I don't know. Anyway, it's getting a little chilly. Should we head back? Yes, let's. Alright, we're gonna try this again today. See if you can, can't land a blow on me this time. Just so you know, it's not like that. I'm not like that stupid Minotaur who only knows how to rush in blindly. Don't lose focus when you're fighting me. Uh, Kaguya, Arisa, let's settle this in one go with the plan we thought of before. Gotcha. Also, let's show the let's show the instructor what we can do. We'll definitely win this time. You guys sure talk big, but how, do you have the skills to back it up? We may all have our own individual shortcomings, but if we work together, we can compensate for them and overcome the difference in skill. That's what teamwork is all about, right? Ha ah, ha! Looks like you're finally you looks like you finally got it. Then show me what your teamwork can do. Begin. Let's go. Ha! Ah, man, I can't help but laugh. You guys got me. That was brilliant teamwork back there. There is there was nothing to criticize. You were always aware of my position and the position of your comrades, and consistently gave out uh, uh, updated orders based on the situation. Even if you even if you can't understand the situation, the ability to give out accurate orders among the ever changing chaos of the battlefield is no mean feat. I was like running out of air, could you tell? But it looks like you've managed to master that skill splendidly. It's all because you move forward according to the plan. If they hadn't, it, we wouldn't have succeeded. That's correct. No matter how good your orders are, if they're not followed properly, then your orders mean nothing. You did great as well, you two. Thank you very much. Yeah, we got complimented. That it, All this means is you finally cleared the very first hurdle. It's ten years too soon for you guys to be celebrating. If you guys are satisfied with just that level of teamwork, you won't even last one day on the f in the field. Don't get conceited and remember to keep working on improving your skills. Uh, I understood. Even if it is just the first hurdle, at least this means you three have the foundations m mastered at least. Therefore, we will no longer be using the campus dungeons on your missions. Now then, I should give you three your mission for today. Was the mock battle with you not today's mission, instructor? That was simply to test to confirm whether or not you three are strong enough for today's mission. So what's our mission? Five kilometers out from here, there's a gang of goblins using some boulders as a stronghold. You're going to wipe them out. It's gotten to the point where the surrounding villagers have suffered casualties, so we can't we can't delay. Uh, why are we why are we being given a job that fully fledged knights should be doing? Do you remember what I told you guys a few days ago about the strange movements of the monsters recently? Yes, of course. The truth is, last night some undead showed up near here. I didn't notice at all. How come no one's talking about it? Because before anyone noticed, a team of knights on patrol found them and eliminated them. But if they've made even one mistake, it could have been a disaster. There has been a number of other monster appearances in the last few days as well. Right now, the Night Corps are so busy that they need every bit, a uh, little bit of help they can get. I see. So that, so we're that little bit of help. Correct. If it's just some goblins, even apprentices should be able to take them out. Uh, what was the idea proposed by the higher? That was the idea proposed by the higher ups in the castle. So if we do well, we'll be recognized by the top brass. That's correct. If you're, but just succeeding once or twice won't be enough to get recognized. Then we'll just have to succeed enough times that we do get recognized. If we do well here, we'll be able to pick better positions after graduating. You think so too? All right, I'm getting fired up. It's time, it's, t it's fine to be fired up, but don't ever let your guard down. Goblins may not be strong, but they always work in groups. They have the numbers advantage on you guys, and they're better at teamwork too. A moment of carelessness could mean your deaths. If you don't want to die, make sure you help each other out. But if you think the fight's hopeless, then run. You only get a second chance if you're alive. Uh, you can only get a second chance if you're alive. Now then, depart once you've made your preparations. Dismissed. Okay. According to the map, our destination is at the end of this forest. I'm starting to get nervous. This would only be be the knight's job, right? But we're the ones who be, who've, who's got it, who are gonna be doing it. Worried? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But I'm more excited than worried. I want to fight. It's good to be fired up, but don't get worked up too, uh, just yet. 
being overly enthusiastic uses up your energy and that creates openings in your stance. If we're going to be able to get home safely, we have to keep calm like usual. I know, I know. The real problem is, is how many enemies there are. Depending on how many of them there are, it could be a very tough battle. Yeah, there's definitely no way we outnumber them. Since we're, there's more of them than us, our teamwork has to be on point. Do you have a plan? We should bunch up together and cover each other's blind spots. That way we'll be able to handle any attack from any direction. Also, we can't chase too far. Go on the offensive only when you're sure that you can bring your enemy down quickly. I'll give more orders depending on the situation, but everyone should just try to maintain the optimal distance between ourselves and their opponent. Got it. So we're bunching together and covering each other's blind spots. Is there anything else we should pay attention to? We have to complete our mission to ensure the safety of the surrounding villages. But more importantly, we have to come home alive. I don't want to lose comrades I just made. Understood. I'll be careful. I want to go home with everyone too. Also, I'll be careful and try my best. Alright, let's go guys. Take this! Cry of pain. Just how many of them are there? No matter how many of them we cut down, more just keep popping out. But if we keep this up, we'll be able to clear the mission eventually. Yeah, but don't let your guard down, no matter how easy things get, guys. You're in the most uh, you're in the most danger when you stop to rest. I know, I know. I won't let my guard down till every one and last one of them is dead. Let's keep pushing and end this in one go. Roger. What? Without any warning, an explosion erupts in front of us. The resulting sh the shock wave forced me to squint, and I instantly become more vigilant in my surroundings. Was that magic? There's a goblin shaman here. This is our first time to having to deal with multiple enemies at once, and now we have to deal with magic too? Fight now, complain later. Be wary of magic, but concentrate on the foe in front of you. That's kind of contradictory, but whatever. We just gotta do it, right? Uh, again, just where is that attack coming from? At this rate, we're just sitting ducks. Everyone split up. Roger. Everyone be careful. While ducking my way through the continual barrage of magic, I slice through enemies before me. The fear of not knowing when or where another goblin might jump out at me makes me focus more than ever before. Uh, just cries of death and killing and effort, you get it. Hmm, looks like I've finished up most of my end. The magic stopped coming too, did someone take out the caster already? At any rate, I need to regroup with the other two. Kya! Arissa? Or maybe it's Kya! Ah, told obviously. Hey, what do you think you're touching, you pervert? Stop with the creepy smile, your breath stinks. Asshole, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing touching my boobs? No, my voice is leaking out. Hey, no, stop. Don't rub it with your finger. Don't make me read this. Arissa? Mikage, I messed up. Hang in there, I'm coming to save you. Uh, or so I say, but what do I do? There's still a lot of enemies left, and Arissa's been taken hostage. If I jump in without thinking, Arissa might be in even more danger. I said stop touching me. Hey, wait. <laughs> oh god, don't make me read that. Don't put your finger in there. Oh god, those bastards know I can't just leap in, so there. What do I do with this raid, Arissa? Should I retreat temporarily and form a new plan of attack? No, I can't leave a comrade behind. What if they do something to Arissa while I'm busy thinking of a plan? If that happened, I'd regret it for the rest of my life. Oh no. She's in trouble. I can't bear to watch this any longer. Should I jump in and damn the consequences? If I can get them to hesitate for even a second. Wait, will this really work? Is this too risky? If, if the worst here were to happen, damn, I can't think straight. Thinking of a, of a solution and putting in, uh, putting it in action are supposed to be a leader's duty. I won't let you do as you please any longer. As I was grinding my teeth in my own powerlessness, Kaguya dashed behind, uh, forward from behind Orisa, fast as the wind. Before the goblins could even take a stock of what was happening, their heads had been parted from, uh, from their bodies. Oh, cool. She saved you. Thank God. I'm saved. Thanks, you two. Don't thank me. I didn't even do anything. That was all thanks to Kaguya. It was only possible because you distracted them for me. At any rate, I'm glad you're both safe. Indeed. It seems we managed to clear the mission as well. Now, the threat to the villages is gone. I was worried when magic started raining down on us, but it looks like it all worked out in the end. About that, the goblin shaman wasn't among the goblins I killed. Did someone else defeat him? I don't think I ran into him either. Neither did I. Where'd he go then? Wait, did he run away? That's also a possibility, but is there something bothering you? Uh, his magic was too powerful. He was using magic far beyond the capabilities of a normal goblin. I don't understand how that's possible. Really? You're really knowledgeable about magic, Kaguya. It's no big deal. Well, I was sitting there thinking about it. Won't make it. It won't make it. Sitting here thinking about it won't make it make any more sense. I'm totally beat. Shouldn't we just go home? Yeah, let's go back. Understood. Meddling humans. Ho ho! Danger. Today was a day of many firsts. It really wore me out. The sort of missions the Night Corps usually do and the missions we do at the Academy are completely different. And the ones that we're being given to do are supposedly the easiest of the lot. Dad would uh, probably have been able to handle this with both hands tied behind his back. 
Well, we succeeded in the end, but there's a lot we need to reflect on about this mission. Though thanks to this, we didn't let our previous victories go to our head. Man, I'm still nowhere near good enough. Hmm? Come in. Do you have a minute? Yeah, what's up? There's something I want to talk to you about. Will you listen? Of course. Sorry about today. Because of my mistake, I caused both of you a lot of trouble. I told you that already, but that's that. I already, t I told you already that's fine, didn't I? And besides, it was my fault for giving bad orders. You were put in danger because I said we should split up. I'm really sorry. That's not true at all. I think you're a great leader, Makage. Kaguya said so too. Kaguya did? Yeah, we said with you as our, she said with you as our leader, Makage, our team can get even stronger. I don't think that's true though. Kage and I both trust you, Makage, so don't apologize. I am blessed to have such great comrades. That's my line. I think I may I need to say this again properly too. Thank you for saving me today. Like I said, I didn't do anything. Besides, saving your comrades is only natural, isn't it? That might be true, but I still felt like I had to thank you properly. Don't worry much about it. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's have sex. <laughs> Fucking what? I, I appreciate how she just says it straight out, you know? Huh? What'd you just say? Let's have sex. Um... <laughs> Okay, okay, <laughs> we're back. So, uh, great times for all, all involved, obviously. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing unusual there. The dialogue afterwards, interesting. Um, oh god, how do I summarize this? So, b basically, they, Arissa is really on board. She really likes, um, uh, the, the, the main dude, Mikage, isn't that his name? She's really on board, and she's really really on board and uh and she did say that that she is for his exclusive use only and uh and uh, which he was on board with he think that's he thinks that's great he's like he was worried he's like uh were we were, were we like too loud like don't you aren't you worried that kaguya is gonna hear us and she's like oh i, I don't care <laughs> she's like oh i don't care it, would, it literally would be no problem at all if kaguya heard us at all and she's like we have nothing to feel guilty about she's like you know so she's like, I don't care if Kaguya knows. So that was interesting. Anyway, uh, they soaked his sheets, so he has to change all the sheets on his bed, and that was what he did before he went to bed. So there you go. <laughs> now you know. Great work out there today. We've reached many. We received many letters of thanks from the villagers. Really, you th uh, three protected their lives, their livelihoods, and their lifestyles. After all, be proud and continue to devote to continue to devote yourselves to your training. The more you grow, the more lives you will be able to save, and the more smiles you'll be able to bring to everyone. It's funny, but it feels like it's just now hitting me how awesome a knight's job is. Indeed, there's nothing as wonderful as being a knight. It really makes you want to hurry up and become a re become the real deal, doesn't it? Now then, let me brief you on today's mission. Your orders are to patrol the western woodlands. Patrol? Huh? We're not killing monsters today? Patrolling seems really plain. Don't get so cocky just because you were able to take down a few goblins, little girl. Little girl? Little girl? <laughs> Besides, fighting is not a knight's only job. Preventing danger is one of the most important jobs as a knight. The, these daily patrols protect far more innocent lives than just killing monsters, you fool. Understood. Besides, the defenses around the capital have become rather weak lately. We need to be more vigilant now than ever. Yesterday, a group of orcs tried to destroy the, gener the barrier generator. A group of knights managed to defeat the ogres, but the generator was destroyed in the battle, and we're not sure when it'll be fixed. To think something like that serious happened. We need to keep uh, we need it, we need to keep it quiet to keep people from panicking. So it's only natural that you wouldn't know. As I told you before, the monsters have been more active in these in the, in the last few days. So in order order to prevent the worst from happening, you three must fulfill your mission. Understood. Mikage, Shi Shinzaki, and his unit departing now. I can't believe the generator barrier was the barrier generator was destroyed. It's not like it was completely destroyed though, right? Well, there is more than one generator, so it's not like everything's gonna gonna go down. And we'll be fine as long as we end strength and security where the hole is, right? Pretty much. It's fine then. We'll still have the invincible Night Core. They should have no trouble dealing with a hole or two. True, but in order to lessen the burden on them even a little, we need to do our job and go on patrol. Indeed, our actions will be able to protect everyone. Protect everyone, huh? It sounds cool, but I still still don't can't really grasp the, the enormity of it. I don't have the confidence to protect something so big. All I can even think about is how to keep my family safe so that I can live a good life, so they can live a good life. I guess I'm a failure as a knight if I only if the only people I'm concerned about are the ones close to me. I don't mean I don't think I think that's a little far. Okay, uh, this is the last choice supposedly um, that we have to make before we lock in our good ending. So, 
Anyway, uh, but as a human being, isn't that the right mindset to have? Uh, it occurs to me that I tend to read it and then click on it and then his dialogue's the same. So I just like clicked on it halfway through because I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's going to appear anyway. But as a, as a human being, isn't that the right mindset to have? And before you're a knight, you're just another human. Isn't it only natural to consider those close to you as most important? Isn't that mixing up personal and private affairs? Just because your family's most important to you, it's not like you're going to let everyone else die, right? Obviously, there's no way I would. Then there's no problem, is there? Really? Do you think it's all right, Kaguya? You have to believe in your leader's words. If you say it's okay, then I guess it's okay. Man, there's literally nothing out here. The epitome of peaceful. We should, we still shouldn't lower our guards, but you're right. There are no monsters around at all. Which is really the best situation to be in. That's true. Nothing better than not having to fight for your life. It's not like we're hungering for battle or anything. Uh, yeah, pl yeah, plus the weather's nice. If we weren't on a mission right now, it'd be perfect weather ever for a picnic lunch. That does sound appealing. Yeah, eating one of Arissa's homemade lunches out here sounds really awesome. Ha, uh, how about we go on a picnic next time then? I'll make the best lunch ever. I'm in, let's do it. Looks like you've got him on, you've got him by the stomach. Though I can't understand why he's so captivated. Oh, it's the lake. This is the goal, right? I don't know about the goal, but we're supposed to turn around when we get here. Now we just have to be vigilant on the way back and we're done with today's mission. Then let's take a little break here. We finally get a peaceful, get a place with a great view. It'd be a waste to go back right away. Just, it just a little won't hurt, I suppose. All right, let's do it. Yay! It really is a pretty lake. I don't suppose there was a place to like, I didn't know there was a place like this around here. Me neither. I kind of want to swim in it now. We are still on a mission, you know. We can't just go swimming. I couldn't even if I wanted to. I don't have a swimsuit on me. Good. Oh, yeah, I saw some fruit trees on the way here. I'll go get some fruit for us. What do you think he's referring to good as? Good you don't have a swimsuit or good that you weren't going to try swimming? I'm assuming he means good because you weren't going to try swimming because we are on a mission right now. We can't just goof off. Anyway, I'll go get some fruit for us. Oh, that sounds good. I'll be right back. Ah, found it. There's still lots of vitamins in them, too. These will have lots of vitamins in them, too. No matter how good they look, though, it takes courage to eat, to just eat unwashed fruit. But these are pretty big, so one person should, uh, one per person should be enough. Kya! Arissa? Oh, God. Who would have thought? <laughs> a monster! What happened? Was it a water snake? Water spirits. Okay, uh, we're back. So, uh... Our other 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 waifu is in, is got attacked by that water spirit thing. She got imprisoned and she's not wearing anything. Can't really explain why. And so I like, but it's like it's one of the censored ones, so it's not sh technically showing anything, but it's showing so much. I'm worried it's not gonna matter. And so I'm just gonna cut it anyway. But what, basically, what happened is Kaguya, or Kaguya, I just read the name Kaguya. Uh, uh, Mikage charged forward and slashed at the water, which did nothing because it's water. And he's like really bummed out because he's like, oh my god, she's gonna die, I can't save her. I, so he's starting to panic. And then Kaguya stepped forward and uses magic because she's like, well, because she said it's not gonna work. Physical attacks do nothing. And he's like, well, then what the hell are we gonna do? And then she steps forward, she's like, well, we just need to not use physical attacks. And obviously she's using magic. So clearly she can use magic, and clearly no one knows. Anyway. O crimson flames, burn thy enemy until not even ashes remain. Countless arrows of flame spout around Kaguya's outstretched hand. This must be magic? Fire arrow. Kaguya drowns out my voice with a loud shout, and the fire arrows all speed towards her target. It's over in an instant. The moment the arrows hit the spirit, it dissipates into mist. Okay, so, um, so, uh, the other blonde waifu was in fact naked. So I have that completely that time, so I have to cut away. Um, so what basically happened was she was alive. She was kind of surprised. She's like, oh my god, I'm alive. And, uh, so, uh, they're like, Kaguya, why the hell can you use magic? And then she's like, because I promised myself I'd never use it. And then they're like, why? And then they're like, why keep it a secret? Like, it's like, that's, it's so cool. It's very powerful. Why, you know, why keep it a secret? And then she didn't tell us why, but she just said, you have to give me your word. You will not tell anyone I can use magic. And then he, and then, and then he did give, he, everybody gave their word. Um, that they would promise they won't tell anyone that she can use magic, but um, but something that Kage, the um, Mikage, the main dude mentioned, he's like, you know, he's like.
like, if you can use magic, he's like, and obviously your sword skills are good. He's like, joining like the holy, the holy or royal knights or whatever, like the top echelon is not just a pipe dream for you. Like, if you can use magic and you like, it's a very, very legitimate possibility if she has all these connections. And, but she just ignored it. She's like, I don't care. Just don't tell anyone I can use magic. You have to give me your word. And so the reason that, that all that happened was because apparently Kaguya had to go use the had to go use the bathroom, so she left while I was away. And uh, and uh, blonde waifu whose name is whose name is Arissa, isn't that her name? Arissa jumped in the lake to go swimming anyway. So that's what happened. Anyway, now you know. I see. That's very interesting. Water spirits are known to be quite gentle, yet they attacked a human being. You were wise to retreat. Your weapons are enough to take on undead, but they are useless, uh, powerless against spirits. If you'd fought, you would have lost for sure. Oh, so we told a story that we ran. That nothing happened and we just ran away. Interesting. But still, I suppose it is possible for a shaman to control a large group of goblins, but for a sprite to attack a human, I can't help but think something's going on between the monsters. Like what? I don't know what I don't know what exactly, but either this is a forewarning of a disaster to come, or there's an extremely powerful monster using magic to control them. Extremely powerful monster. So you're right. How say you're right? How powerful are we talking here? Let's see. Probably something along the lines of a dragon, vampire, lich, demon, something with at least that much power. Any of those would be too strong for a human to deal with. This is all speculation. It's quite possible possible I'm completely wrong. Or rather, I hope that I'm wrong. At any rate, it doesn't hurt to be prepared. Be prepared to deal with any kind of eventuality. That's all. Dismissed. What kind of monster or a, is it, what kind of a disaster or a monster with enough strength to control all of these other monsters? Either way, it's a pretty grim situation. I hope it really is just speculation. Though I'm still amazed Kaguya can use magic. If she couldn't use magic, I shudder to think what would have happened to Orisa. What I don't get is why she swore to never use it, though she can. Only those born with the talent can use magic. Every knight wishes they could use magic. There's a lot of pros to being able to use magic and supposedly no cons. She must have her own reasons. I probably shouldn't pry. Come in. Thank you. What's wrong? Thank you for keeping quiet about the fact that I can use magic. I just kept my promise is all. Still, thank you. Is that all you came here to say? I was thinking of giving you, thanking you for keeping quiet. Oh god. We're comrades, it's only natural. I don't need any thanks. It's precisely because we're comrades that I don't want to owe you. Come to think of it, come to think of it as me doing this for myself. Sheesh, fine. So what are you gonna give me as thanks? Yeah, what indeed? My body, told you. Are you really okay with this? Of course, how long do you plan on keep me waiting like this? <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> so, uh, that was Kaguya. That was, uh, that was something. Fun fact, she was a virgin, did you know? Not surprising considering, like, other girl, uh, seems to know a lot more about what's happening. And, uh... Kaguya did not, but uh, obviously uh, she had a, had a great time. It was great for everybody involved, so, you know. Good morning, Mikage. Good morning. Mm, I smell the delicious scent of baking bread. Breakfast will be ready soon, so look forward to it. Ever since you came here, Arissa, my eating habits have improved tremendously. I, uh, used to, I never used to care what I ate before, but now I look forward to every meal. I think that's a good thing. Since you have to eat anyway, you may as well eat things that taste good and are good for you. I can completely agree with that statement now. But now I've got a problem. Huh? What is it? Did I make something you don't like? No, not that. After you leave Arissa, what am I going to do? You and Kaguya both will be back home eventually. When that happens, I'll end up reverting to my old bad eating habits. It's kind of depressing to think about returning to that life now. Then why not let me teach you to cook while I'm still here? I don't mind teaching you. That's not a bad idea. Mind showing me how then? Not at all. Uh, but there's one other way to avoid having to go back to a depressing life of bleak meals. And what's this other way? Get a girlfriend who can cook. Ah, uh, I didn't think about that. But it'd be hard to find a girlfriend who could cook as well as you, Arissa. It might just be best to learn for myself. <laughs> the non-morning person. Super cute Ka Kaguya. I love her so much. So by the way, Kaguya's voice, oh my god. Her voice is, oh, it's so good. Her voice is amazing. I just love, I love her voice. There's just something about it. It's just like, I don't know. There's, so, there's something about it that is like so good. It's like a satisfying noise. Like it's just, I could listen to her read off uh, terms and conditions of something and I'd just be like, keep talking. <laughs> Please, I'm, it's so good. It's not grating like my voice. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, it might not surprise you to learn. I don't mind the sound of my own voice, but like there's things about my voice I don't love. I, I hate my stutter. I hate the stutter and the stammer that's there, but I have no vote over that. It's just, it is what it is. I've been like that since I was a kid. 
but uh, I don't like that. But God, her voice, she could like read read off taxes to you and you just listen. Anyway, good morning, Kaguya. Mm, thanks for the food. Looks like you're still half asleep today too. Start I'm starting to get used to that. <laughs> Me too. Uh -huh. She's like so tired, <laughs> so cute. The instructor's late today. It's rare for her to be late. She's always so punctual. Is it she being held up by a meeting or something? Who knows? Sorry I'm late. Today's mission is canceled. Huh? So we're getting the day off? Yes, in consideration for Shinzaki. For me? What do you mean? Considering the situation we're in, I suppose I should be- Well, considering the situation we're in, I suppose I should tell all of you. Last night, a large number of undead appeared in the northern wastelands. Upon receiving this report, the Night Corps received orders to mobilize. They were to confirm the threat and eliminate it if possible. Upon arriving at the scene, the Night Corps was met with staggering amount, a number of enemy forces. They incur engaged immediately to eliminate the enemies. However, the enemy was far better equipped than expected, and the Night Corps had to call a retreat back to the capital. In order to let the soldiers escape, the commander of the scene took up the portion of the rear guard to stop the undead advance. Thanks to the splendid efforts of that commanding officer, there was not a single casualty, and the Night Corps could successfully uh, returned to the capital. However, the commanding officer has yet to return, and we've lost all contact with him. That commanding officer is Zero Shinsaki. Shinsaki. What? Dad's missing? There's no way we can send you three out on a mission in this kind of situation. Therefore, the three of you are on standby for the day. You are organizing a search party for him, right? His subordinates appear to be forming one right now. All they need, all you need to do is stay at home and wait for the good news. That's all. Dismissed. That old, the old man's gone missing? Oh no. He's the Empire's strongest knight. He'll definitely be fine. Thanks for worrying about me, but I'm not worried. That old man of mine can't be can't get done in so easily. For all we know, he might have already made it back home and is just lounging around like nothing happened. It's possible my father have, may have returned. I'll go home and see if I can learn anything more. I see, alright. Should the two of us get going then? Yeah. Well, that's not good. Well, I didn't really think he'd be here, but he's definitely gonna be okay. Yeah, don't worry too much about it. Like I said before, I'm not really worried about him. I just can't imagine him actually getting being in trouble at all. It's as unthinkable as the sun rising in the evening. You must really trust Zero, don't you? Well, yeah, given how we met. If you'd seen that monstrous strength of his, you'd think the same. Zero really is your hero, huh, Mikage? Hero, huh? I wish my hero was a bit less of a slob. I'm back. Welcome back. Was your father home? Yes, I heard the details from him. So what's going on? So what's going on? That was actually, uh, other, other girl. The enemy appears to have been a force of nearly 100,000. Holy shit. Apparently most of them are newer new recruits, but as the battle progressed, it became increasingly more difficult, so a retreat was ordered. 100,000? What the heck? Wait, does that mean Zero's unit tried to take on that many on their own? Yes. According to the initial report, it was assumed the enemy was a few thousand at most. <laughs> Sorry. At most. So just one unit was assigned to eliminate them. Those numbers are totally off, no matter no matter how good you are. 100,000 by yourself is just impossible. Even so, they were able to take out nearly 20 take out nearly 20,000 enemy troops before they had to retreat. I suppose that's to be expected of the unit led by the kingdom's strongest knight. One unit took out 20,000 on their own. They really are monsters. Did he say something about my dad? Say anything about my dad? Well, well what? During the retreat, he covered for my father and suffered some serious injuries. Even then, he alone should be enough to... Injuries? No matter how many of them there were, there's no way Dad could be beaten by a bunch of stinking undead. Well, that's because magic started raining down from out of nowhere. It seems that at the time, the mo at the most he could do was use his own body as a shield to protect my father. Dad. I'm telling you, he's alright. I can't tell why I'm so sure, but he's gonna be alright. I'd bet my life on it. Don't bet your life so easily. But... He did it to protect my dad. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to say. There's nothing you need to apologize for, Kaguya. Dad did it because he wanted to. There's no reason to blame anyone. If anything, the undead are at fault. It's okay. I believe in dad. He'll... And so he'll definitely be alright. Yeah, here's hoping. Uh... What do you mean? Just as I stated, the search party for Zero has been called off. May I, may I ask why? The enemy's numbers are far greater than initially predicted. It's really something. Furthermore, we are still uncertain of the enemy's goals. Therefore, we deemed it prudent to remain alert and prepare for the worst. Until we can confirm that the threat has been eliminated, the Night Corps will be guarding the city 24-7. No matter how accomplished the Night, we can't afford to send on a search party for just one person at this point in time. That's... that's not right. We were... we're talking about Zero here. Isn't he worth far more than just one Knight? The order was issued by the King. There's nothing I can do about it. I understand. This is indeed a situation where the safety of the citizens takes priority. We can't afford to mobilize the Night Corps just to search for my father. Mikage. 
If the knights are will can that uphold justice will not look for him, then I shall. If an apprentice like me leaves, there shouldn't be a problem, correct? I cannot allow that. Why not? Because you are an apprentice. You lack the qualifications for that mission. However, I do understand how you feel. If you truly insist on going, I won't stop you. Just know that if you do, the path to becoming a knight will be forever closed to you. The path to becoming a knight will be closed to me. Following orders is an unbreakable rule for the knights. Those who disobey orders can't become knights. Those who follow their feelings disrupt the solidarity of the group and are not needed in the knight corps. I'll say it once more. If you choose to go looking for Zero, you will be throwing away your chances at becoming a knight. If you understand, then don't think of it doing anything stupid. If you can't stand, ju if you can't stand just waiting, then do some training. You'll be too busy, busy to think about the unnecessary things, about unnecessary things, if you're tired out from exercise. Just, I had wanted you all to attend the academy today, but... No, never mind. All missions are on hold till further notice. Everyone, until new orders come, you are to remain on standby. That is all. Dismissed. Oh, shit. If I go looking for Dad, I'll lose the right to become a knight. I wanted to surpass my own weakness, my own helplessness, so that I can protect others. I wish for a second chance to get rid of my regrets. That's why I aim to become a knight, this country's symbol of power. I believe that if I could become a knight, the number of people I could protect would far outnumber those I failed to save in the past. Becoming a knight was my dream, my goal, my whole life. And now you're telling me that I won't be able to become one just because I want to go look for my dad? All those steps I climbed on the way to becoming a knight since the day he first picked me up will all be rendered meaningless? How stupid. I didn't even need to think about it. I don't even need to think about it, do I? If I think about what I really want, I already know what the right thing to do is. Yeah, I already know. Where are you going with all those weapons on you? I could ask the same of you two. What are you two doing with, the, with, your, with your weapons? How rude. Isn't it obvious we're gonna go look for Zero? What uh, what are you thinking? You were you were planning on doing the same, were you not? I I'm different. It's only natural for a kid to want to save their parent, but you two, it's only natural for teammates to want to support their leader. No matter how accomplished a knight you are, acting alone is forbidden. You must always act together with your team. That's the knight's ironclad rule. Yup, yup. It's dangerous to go alone. We should go with you. You just worry about finding zero Maka uh, You just worry about finding zero Makage. Kage and I will have your back. I appreciate the offer, but I can't let you two do that. Why? Is there some kind of problem? Don't you understand? If you two do this, then you won't be able to become knights either, and I can't get you involved in this just for my sake. We're going because we want to, so we're not getting involved, so we're not- you're not getting us involved in anything. Or do you believe that you can take responsibility for what we do of our own free will too, leader? If so, then you are a truly splendid leader. Wait a minute, you two. Don't you think- think about this rationally. Are you really okay with not becoming knights? Don't worry, I will still become a knight. Yep, so will I, obviously. It would be a big problem if I couldn't. Then don't say stupid things like that You like you're coming with me. I will become a knight, and I will find Zero as well. Yep, I'm gonna get it all. What kind of stupid? Will you stop calling us stupid already? If you won't shut up, I'll break your jaw, okay? It was scary. Uh, have you always been like this, Kaguya? A teammate's problem is the whole team's problem. It's only natural for us to help you. Stop thinking about unnecessary things and let us help you. Ha, huh. Kagi has become a lot less formal since she started living with us, but I agree with her. It's true that I've dreamed of becoming a knight since I was a kid. You could say it was my life's goal, even. But it's not so important that I'm willing to throw away my comrades for it, nor is that the kind of knight I want to become. Besides, Zero was injured protecting my father. My father owes his life to Zero, so it's only natural I want to pay off that debt. I cannot stand the shame of simply doing nothing. What, and what about you, Orissa? Don't you want to become a knight to provide for your family? Then there's no need for you to take this kind of risk. If any of my siblings were in a similar situation, I would definitely go searching for them. I mean, they're all- they're my family, so of course I'd have to. I love them. And if I have to give up on helping them to become a knight, then I'm sure no one in my family would approve. Don't get angry at me instead of- instead, for sure. What? They'd get at me- they, they would get angry at me instead, for sure. I'm everyone's big sister, and I've gotta be cool for all of them. I understand how you feel, but it's still too risky. Huh, <laughs> what are you saying? You, you, uh, we're not gonna search for zero, so it's not risky at all. What do you mean? Did you forget what the instructor said? If you can't stand standing still, then do some training. So we're just gonna go out for some training. We're gonna go for, and we're going to go to the wasteland to train. Who knows, we might run into Zero accidentally. Indeed, this is just training. Do you really think that kind of excuse is gonna work? If it doesn't, we can't just get Zero and my father to, we can just get Zero and my father to back us up. Covering for your daughter, covering for your daughter who saved the man who you owe your life to is only natural as the head of the family. I'm sure Zero won't just leave you out to dry either, right? Especially if you saved him. Sheesh, you two sure are persistent. Persistent? Don't you mean reliable? <laughs> it's the same thing, really. Uh, are you two really okay with this? My neighbors are like tap dancing or something up there. Wish they'd calm the fuck down. Of course we are. A foolish question. 
All right, then please help me out, you two. Leave it to us. We'll definitely find Zero. Yeah, we're just going to happen to trade in this direction. This is very much has that has that 300 vibe when he's like, Sparta is per like forbidden from going to war. And he's like, I'm not going to war. I'm just going on a walk. <laughs> I'll walk in that direction with 300 of my closest friends. <laughs> Wow, are they, like, doing hard construction up there? Good God. Should you, like, stop beating the damn floor? Anyway. Uh, Alright, let's take a short break. I can still keep going. Yeah, but we haven't stopped walking since we left the capital. If we don't rest while we have the chance, we'll be too tired to act react when it matters. Aren't you worried about Zero, though? Not at all. My old man won't die that easily. Nothing's gonna happen if we get to him a, a tiny bit later. Honestly, I I we'd be in bigger trouble if you two tire, tire yourselves out. So we're taking a break here. You're so calm, even now. Well, I'm still your leader. By the way, there's something that's been bothering me this whole time. There's different kinds of undead, right? Which kind did Zero's unit run into? According to my father, they were all zombies. Living corpses, huh? Living corpses, huh? That was that was the guy. Anyway, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, do zombies have intelligence or feelings? I do not believe so. The only driving force behind zombies is their attachment to the living. Their only goal is to attack living things. Hmm, so they really don't make use of teamwork or anything, right? They do not, why? Then how come 100,000 zombies just showed up together at the wastelands? Now that you mention it, it is strange. A huge group showing up like that all at once can't just be a coincidence, right? I can't hell, I can't believe I overlooked something so simple. Uh, the only solution that makes sense is there's someone out there creating and controlling these zombies. Wait up, are zombies something you can just make? As long as you have corpses, they're relatively simple to create. The real problem is how you create 100,000 of them. You'd need an absurd amount of magical strength for that. At the very least, there's no human out there that could do it. Could it just be the magic that injured dad was cast by the same magician? It's quite likely. There is starting to look, this is starting to look more and more suspicious. All right, let's keep going. Roger. I don't sense any monsters around. The real problem is how we're gonna find dad. There's no guarantee he's even still in this area. It'd be a pain, but it looks like our only choice is to start searching the entire area, huh? That won't be necessary, he's this way. Huh, how do you know that? I asked the spirits of the wind and earth if they had seen a wounded human knight around here. There's nowhere on earth that they can't, that there aren't spirits. And there's nothing the spirits don't know. It's much faster to ask them than to search blindly, don't you think? You can do that? As long as they haven't taken physical forms, like the spirits that attacked Arissa the other day, spirits can't be seen by humans. However, humans born with the ability to use magic can see them. They are, they are here and talk to them as well. They can hear and talk to them as well. Amazing, I had no idea you could do stuff like that with magic. Well, not regretting bringing me along now, are you? Yeah. At any rate, it's this way. Dad? Dad, are you here? Jeez, I was just just, uh, just settling down to enjoy my nap, too. But someone had to come yelling and disturb me. Dad! Oh, if it isn't my son! And he's got a girl on each arm. Are you here for a picnic? Looks like you're living it up. Uh, sheesh, looks like you're doing just fine. Of course, who do you think I am? I won't kick that the bucket that easily. <laughs> oh my god. But those are some serious injuries. I hadn't noticed because it was all it was in my blind spot, but now that she mentioned it, I can see a lot of blood running out of a gash in the left in the side down his legs. The spot near his feet is dyed reddish brown with dried blood. Ha, don't worry, the bleeding stopped. It looks pretty bad, but I'm not in any danger of dying. Yeah, well, but well, my legs won't move. So I can't make my way back. If you're this lively, then why don't you just call for help on the radio? Don't uh, don't tell me you were just trying to slack off. That's why I had a chance to relax. There, though I couldn't contact anyone even if I wanted to, my radio's broken. I can receive signals, but I can't send any. You guys have come though, right? No, we'd be in big trouble if anyone knew we were out searching for you, so we left our radios at home. I see, I think I have an idea what's going on right now, but well, there's a problem. What could be more of a problem than the situation we're in right now? Well, you see, that giant horde of zombies is about to go attack the capital. Are you serious? Yeah, I managed to plant a bug on their boss during the battle, so I was able to overhear their plan. This is bad, we gotta get back there and warn everyone. It's no use, they'll beat us there by a bit. Don't look so worried, the knights will be able to take them on. Even though, even given their numbers, I suppose the knights will suffer some losses as well. Or though, not even though. Uh, worst case scenario, there may be some civilian casualties too. That's... However, there is one way to prevent casualties and stop the zombies from attacking the capital. What is it? Stop with all the grandstanding, just say it. It's simple, just take out their boss, do that, and all the zombies will go back to being dead. Those zombies are only moving because they're powered by magic from their boss. In other words, before they make it to the city, you three have to take out the boss. Considering the state I'm in, I'll let you three handle the good part. Are you saying, are you telling us to rush head on into that horde of zombies? 
There's no need for that. It seems their boss can't move from their hideout. Well, I get... I did get her pretty... I did get her pretty bad during the fight. She probably couldn't move even if she wanted to. I was able to figure out where their hideout is by tracking the location of the bug. If you wait till the zombies head out and infiltrate the hideout, you should be able to reach their boss without seeing much combat. All that makes sense, but who exactly is their boss? Uh, she's a middle class demon. She's uh, quite a pretty one too. A middle class demon? That's not something the three of us can- I already dealt her a serious injury, remember? She can barely stand up right now. It's probably all she can do to just control the zombies and heal up. She's at 5% strength right now, at best. She's still pretty dangerous. But we've got to do it. We're the only ones who can do anything to stop the zombies from attacking. Haha, <laughs> well said. I'd expect no less from my son. You three have to protect everyone right now. Even if she is weakened, our opponent this time is quite strong. Will you still come with me? A foolish question. Yeah, yeah, a team's got to do everything together. I'll follow you anywhere, leader. Alright, let's go hunt ourselves a demon. Let's fucking do it, dude. What could possibly go wrong? It's been about 30 minutes since the zombies left. You two ready? I've been ready for a while now. Yeah, yeah, if the zombies make it to the capital, they'll attack, they will might attack my family even. So we've got to stop them here. Alright, let's go. It's almost disappointing how few enemies we've seen. Did they really literally send everything to attack the capital? That must not be expecting humans to attack now. Regardless, this is good for us. Ever since we infiltrated their mansion, we haven't seen a single enemy or trap. The further we advance, though, the paler everyone's faces become. Everyone can feel the increasing pressure as we get further in. It grips our hearts and sends cold shivers down our spines. But we can't be daunted before... But we can't be daunted before the fight even starts. We must persevere. Strengthening my resolve, I kick down the huge door in front of me. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> How rude. Don't you know you're supposed to knock before entering? This is why I hate humans. Arrogant, rude, and ugly. You're the most pathetic creatures alive. I can't bear the sight of you. Please just kill yourselves. Unfortunately, we can't do that. Tramping around my house with your shoes on? Just who do you lowly creatures think you are? You're not terribly polite yourself. What? Why are you attacking the city? Uh, what's so fun about harming people? Fun? Don't be stupid. I don't do this for fun. The opposite, in fact. You ask why I'm attacking people? Let me answer with a question of my own. When you see a cockroach, what do you think? Do you look at it and feel the urge to hold hands with it and proclaim everlasting friendship? <laughs> of course not, right? There's no way you would. You just think uh, you just think it's disgusting. There's no logical reason behind it. Your instincts just uh, scream to you that it's disgusting. There's one thing you think about it. Uh, if there's a cockroach running around your house, you don't just leave it alone, do you? You do everything you can to get rid of it, right? And, and how do you get rid of it? You crush it, right? That's why I'm attacking you humans. That's all there is to it. So you're saying humans are the same as cockroaches? Hey now, that's an insult to cockroaches. At least cockroaches have the decency to try and hide themselves. But you humans, you swagger around as if you own the world. You're even worse than a cockroach. You can't expect us to just accept our deaths quickly though, or quietly though. We won't just roll over and die because you want us gone. No one asked for your opinion. Do you want to die? That's how, then how about I kill you? You humans have been getting cocky ever since you beat me back last time. I finally managed to gather all those, all these corpses, and then some idiot had to come in and take out almost 80% of them. On top of that, he even managed to injure me, that worm. I'm so, so pissed right now. In a sense, I'm glad you three showed up when you did. I can relieve my stress by killing all of you. Looks like there's no point in talking anymore. Let's go, you two. Ready when you are. She's practically dead already. As long as we keep our guard up, we'll definitely win. It's true, I can barely use any of my power right now, but I've got more than enough to send the likes of you three to hell. I'll show you the difference in power between us. Go. At my signal, the three of us leap forward to close in on her. We all split up too, so as not to provide an easy single target. Then we attack all at once. You know, yells of effort, you get it. We all launch our attacks simultaneously to take advantage of her blind spot. Our timing is better than ever, and our attacks all reach the devil at the same time. What noisy trash you are. Do you think those the uh, think those attacks will work? Don't underestimate me, you brats. What? I thought for sure our attacks would land, but they don't they don't reach the mark. Instead they were repelled. Huh? What? What just happened? Let me enlighten you, mindless apes. That was a barrier. As long as I've got my barrier, your shitty attacks won't ever reach me. Evil laughing. We continue to launch attacks without pause at the devil, who simply stood there laughing at us. But each and every one of them was repelled by an invisible barrier. I told you, you can't hurt me. You really are inferior creatures if you can't even learn that much. Dance, dance for me! Shit, there's no end to it. How is she even using magic like this? Alright, I've had my fun, now it's time for you to die. Ice Javelin! Watch out, everyone out of the way! 
Before my mind could even process what was happening, my body reacted. Following Kaguyu's orders, I jumped back. A moment later, countless spears of ice rose up from the floor where I'd been standing and flew towards the ceiling. That was close, I almost got skewered. Don't be relieved yet, you can't be so lucky every time. Ice Javelin I dodged with a sidestep to the right this time. As I did, spears flew out from behind just where I'd been standing. Holy crap, if I'd jumped backward, I'd be dead. Do you think you can dodge the next one too? Ice Javelin I may be I may be managing to dodge these, but I can't get anywhere near her. If even and even if I did manage to close the distance between us again, the barrier is still there. There's no way to deal with any real damage to her. She hasn't moved a single step from where she was since the battle started. It's like she's making fun of us for being so weak. I hate how weak she thinks we are. But things will just keep getting worse unless we can land a hit. What do we do? At that moment, my eyes met with Kaguya's. It was probably only for a second, but I could tell from her eyes that she wanted me to charge in. So I ran straight to her. For her. Um, Kaguya charges forward at exactly the same time. We both swing our swords downward at her, but the devil, wearing an arrogant expression, doesn't even bother to look away. That arrogance will be your downfall. Tear away the false fabric and lay bare your true form. Dispel. What? A mere human like you can use magic? The devil's surprised expression slowly turns into one of pain. My sword stroke cuts cleanly into her shoulder. Ah! It worked? Uh, Mikage, dodge to the side! My body reacts reflectively to the voice behind me. Just as I move, a spear flies past me and skewers the devil. Gah! Gotcha! The devil starts coughing up blood and sinks to her knees. I'm not throwing I'm not throwing away my shot. I close the distance between her and her and me in an instant and swing my two swords downwards. Once, twice, I won't stop until my enemy is completely destroyed. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Impossible for someone as great as me to be taken out by the likes of a mere human. You insolent fools, how dare you! God! The devil lets out one final agonized scream and her body dissipates into black mist. The pressure that had ruled over this ruled over this area until now vanishes. We all sink to the floor like marionettes with our strings cut. It's finally over. Hey, we did the thing, guys. Ho ho! So you went all the way out there for training and just happened to find Zero. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Well... That's correct! We found him purely by coincidence! It was such a crazy coincidence, I was really surprised! Is there a problem with that? Sheesh, what a blatant lie! Do you really think an excuse like that will work? That wouldn't even fool a kid! We're not trying to fool anyone though, it's the truth! Zero can corroborate too, if you don't believe us. True, I suppose if everyone involved confirms it was a coincidence, I can't actually punish you. Exactly! But don't think I'll overlook this again, got it? I'll make an exception this time and pretend this never happened. I have no idea what you're talking about, but thank you very much. Sheesh. Also, speaking off the record and not as your instructor, well done. Thank you very much. Now then, let me tell you today's mission. Let's go. This is pathetic. Oops. How can the three of you together fail to catch me on my own? Uh, she's too fast. She keeps getting away before we can surround her. I took it lightly because you said if you were going to, we were going to go, we were going to be tagged, but this is pretty hard. She's predicting every single one of our movements. Uh, were we just lucky that one time we caught you? Or were you going easy on us? Of course I wasn't holding back, but if I focus entirely on getting away from you, I can pull off something like this, that's all. Or to put it another way, our teamwork isn't solid enough to that you have to put all your effort into avoiding us. Ah, oh, jeez, you're just too fast, I can't catch you. Come on, come on, your time's almost up. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Time's up, huh? Can't believe it ended like this. You three still have a long way to go. I hardly need to remind you that there are monsters out there even faster than me. And those monsters won't just run from you if you don't want to die. Change up your teamwork. Uh, change up how you work together to account for your any kind of enemy. Roger. Now then, since you failed to catch me before time ran out, you all need to accept your punishment. I can only imagine. <laughs> Aww. What do we have to do? Alright, uh, Setsuna and Moe Gihara are to organize the armory and repair any broken equipment. Damn, damn, that's rough. What about me? Come with me to the instructor's room, Shinzaki. <laughs> I can only imagine. All right, let's get down to it. Okay, okay. We're back. Nothing is super insane happened. We gave a massage to the teacher. Um, the main dude did. Nothing happened happened, but like, I mean like... There was some ex there was some exposure going on. Uh, Huey and Dewey here burst in and interrupted, and they're feeling a little bit miffed of what happened. But obviously, he's and and the other thing is, the instructor Reika, I think her name is, or Rika, uh, something like that. 
she was saying that she's like, uh, her parents are bugging her about having kids and having a boyfriend, but she's like really busy with work and she's not super interested anyway. And she doesn't care about the male teachers or whatever. And so then she starts hitting on our main dude here. She starts hitting on him and she's like, like, uh, like, like, so, you know, what, what do you say? You know, you're, and cause he gave her some nice compliments and he was some, he's a sharp mental dude. And so she's like, wow, you know, you're as quick as with your words as you are your swords. And she's like, you could, you know, you definitely could become stronger than zero. And like, you know, you're pretty amazing. And she's like, you know, what do you say? Do you want to be my man? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, haha, you know, that's really funny. And she's like, I'm not kidding. And she's like, I'll have all the kids you want. He's like, uh, <laughs> and then that's when these two burst in. So that's what happened there. Uh, but she did say, we'll continue this another day and then like dipped. So anyway, man, she has like no weak spots. She even managed to ambush us when we weren't expecting it. And Mikage, I can't believe you were oogling her like that. I was not. Yes, you were. Yeah, yeah, you totally were. <laughs> anyway, we got beat pretty bad today. I can't believe she was able to just toy with us like that. We've got to improve our teamwork even more if we, if we want to stand a chance. In that case, we need to understand each other on an even deeper level than we already do. Yeah, so how about a threesome to get to know each other better? Works every time. How did we end up there? They say skinship is the fastest way to understanding another person. Uh, do they say that though? Who says that? See, he gets it. Now, now, don't sweat it, let's just go for it. <laughs> oh, there, there you go. There you go. Well, it's a pretty solid way to end it. <laughs> you think this is a, what do you think this is about? There's like the square in the middle of the, middle. <laughs> I, have, I have confusion. Anyway. I'm a little worried it's gonna show portraits there or something that I don't really want to have to cut out. Anyway, but yeah, so it ended. They uh, got to know each other better all together there. So, and there's obviously hinting that even the teacher is gonna be yours. So, you know, he's a lucky man. <laughs> he is a lucky man. So I don't know what the time looks like when I cut all the lewd stuff. Um, I don't know what that time's gonna look like. So that'll be different. Although, and I just, I just remembered and obviously I haven't edited this yet, but I just remembered that uh, I have a lewd things are happening transition, uh, tr transition thing. So just remembered that. So you probably have seen that a lot this video because I probably used it. Uh, obviously I, I made it, so I, uh, you know, I put it together. I didn't like do everything on it, but I put it, I put it all together. So I probably used that transition a lot this video, but anyway, so there you go. There is Sakura Nova. They're kind of dumb, kind of fun, kind of etchy, and uh, you know, kind of a good, uh, a good time, a good time to just throw in there. And uh, I don't know what's coming next, but we'll probably be bopping around on some randos on uh, on either console or PC stuff. I'm not sure yet, but we'll just keep messing around and uh, see what trouble we get up to. So anyway, that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later. Oh, did I just collateral that guy? Yeet. <laughs> there, you go first. He's like, I think it's clear, man. You're good. As the great Bob Ross would say, what a happy accident. Later, idiots. <laughs> I could hear Darth Vader in my head. I have you now. <laughs> no, walk it off, bro. You're okay. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> that was so perfect.